CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. All right, I'm Denny Hawkins with Brian Levin, Sarah Jacobson, and for Nate Larson, and about a million bugs right behind <laughs> us and all around us. You maybe can't see them, but if you do see them at all They'll throughout the day parents. today, yes. just know uh, we are, we're trying to survive out here. Mm -hmm. We're in survival mode this morning. Working on it, <laughs> so yeah. A little bit warmer weather and apparently the bugs are out to play. All right, well, we are so proud to be back here sponsoring this wonderful event with uh, Capit Credit Union, Town Square Media, and we are here for set up and ready to go for day two of all of this uh, coverage here from Ann Morrison Park. Yes, yeah, so let's go uh, over quickly what you can expect today. It's dubbed Media Day. This is the first introduction day to this year's event. So yesterday it was Kids Day, but hey, the one, the balloons will take flight, weather permitting, of course. Yeah, and with the Media Day, of course, yes, we, we are probably considered media, but we'd still love to see all of you. You're still totally welcome to come down oh, yeah. and enjoy all the fun and the festivities here. Uh, festivities today kicking off right around 6.45, and they should last up to about two hours. So uh, a couple hours of action coming your way from Ann Morrison this morning. Yeah, and so, hey, I understand a lot of people People have work. The kids might be going back to school after coming out here for a, mm -hmm. a little bit of early festivities yesterday. Uh, looking ahead, the week ahead, what can come uh, come for you? Once again, today media day. Tomorrow is VIP launch day. Get your cameras ready because there is no better way to kick off the holiday weekend than by watching countless hot air balloons take to the sky. Well, and of course, also uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, if you're looking for something to do. Have you been to the night globe? I haven't yet, okay. but I know that everyone talks about it. They love it. I want to get out there. So definitely, I'm going to go out on Friday night. So if you're out there, come by and say hi. You want you do not yes. want to miss it. I've seen some of those pictures. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So the night glow happening Friday night, that's kind of one of those glowing experiences where we light these balloons up and, it, and it's really something that you don't get to see too often. So such a fun event. Grab your lawn chair, maybe bring blankets, that type of stuff with you, but that's also coming your way on Friday night. If you're not someone who wants to, uh, you know, get up and roll in with it uh, at 5 a.m. like we do. So right. that one is from 6 to 10 in the evening. Yeah, and then on the weekend, the fun continues Saturday and Sunday mornings with launches. It is important to note that these morning launches, they're scheduled to begin around 6.45 and continue until 8.45 or so. Yeah, and weather actually, it plays a very big role in this balloon oh, launch. Yeah. yeah, our old um, chief meteorologist, Roland Stedham, he is actually the lead forecaster helping all of the pilots out here get up in the air safely. Well, and with Roland too, we also had him out here mm -hmm. early yesterday. We're missing him today, but I think he, uh, yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's still got a <laughs> presence on our show this morning. Oh, yeah. Ballooning is, is probably the most, it's the purest form of flight. Don't take what you see here for granted. It's real art. It's real science. It's real uh, airmanship. It, it takes a lot and it takes a tremendous amount of support from your ground crew to launch you and then follow you as you move through the Treasure Valley and then receive you when you land and then help you take this thing down, deflate it, roll it up, put it away and get it ready for the next day. One of the responsibilities that I have is that I'm the lead forecaster for the classic and that means that before the pilots come in and actually start setting up the balloons. I'm the guy who leads the weather discussion, and we talk about things like winds aloft and what the forecast is like, what the environment is like. The other responsibility I have uh, is to actually operate the drone. Since Captain Nick is on vacation, I'm the other drone pilot for the station, so I get to fly the drone and get some of that spectacular video because this event is probably one of the most scenic events that we see here in the Treasure Valley, so I think capturing it from the drone, from the STEM Action drone, is a great perspective. Flying an airplane is basically compared to flying a hot air balloon, because the hot air balloon, the only thing that you can really control is up and down. It's the winds that carry you in these different directions. So for the, for the rest of the week, I'll be um, uh, the lead forecaster again. Each day the balloons go up through the weekend and then also flying the drone for the station Monday to, or Wednesday, Thursday and Friday morning. So I'll be here Thursday and Friday as well. For an event like this, it's, it's really a privilege. And, and 
some of that drone video is phenomenal is from yesterday. Stunning, yeah. We have it on the CBS2 Facebook page on IdahoNews.com. And actually, you know, I mean, there's a lot of regulations and safety when it comes to flying drones. CBS2 has the only one. It's the only place you can see this video. And it should be uh, even more awesome today with right. those balloons, hopefully taking flight weather dependent, of course. Oh, it's going to be spectacular. And Roland, being the chief forecaster, he or the weather forecaster for this event, mm -hmm. he'll be giving his, um, his forecast in just a little bit. But as far as temperatures for your day today, we're looking pretty nice. It's not going to be yeah. as hot as yesterday. And we do have a little bit more cloud cover moving in, so keep that in mind. So this morning, hour by hour, by 7 o'clock, we're looking at the coolest temperatures of the day, about 64 degrees right before sunrise, about 8 a.m., about 65, 9 o'clock heating up to 70, by 10 a.m., 74. But overall, as we head through your afternoon, we're going to start to see cloud cover pushing out of the way, looking at partly cloudy skies to kick off your day. But again, as ridge of high pressure continues to push in, it's going to warm up very quickly for today. Not as hot as yesterday, but still pretty hot out there, sunny skies. But as far as our future cast, as we head into later today, we're looking at those that cloud cover pushing out by at least the two o'clock hour today. Beautiful sunny skies are expected, but it is going to be hot. Keep in mind, if you're out here early this morning, you definitely do want to bundle up, though. That 64 degrees will be cold, not as cold as we were feeling yesterday, but still you want to make sure you're prepared. Yeah, definitely a noticeable difference out here uh, mm -hmm. compared to yesterday. We were kind of talking about how that's made such a difference with the bugs, uh, and it, yes. but it will make a difference. And we were kind of sitting here being like, do we put the jackets on? Yeah. Do we take them off? Uh, so at least right at that, yeah. that area. But we also have felt a little more of that breeze today too compared to yesterday. So I know that'll, I mean, you know, it seems like nothing, but of course we have to think about the, you know, the upper levels of the atmosphere. So mm -hmm. that's, that's where Roland comes in. We yes. like to <laughs> take care of the scientific piece of this and, uh, you know, and help, help the pilots determine whether it is safe to fly. So we'll be watching closely for that. Yeah, and Roland will be joining us here in uh, in less than an hour. So I'm guessing right about now, you know, he's kind of have the, uh, the, getting, the, the rooster hair, hair going. Yeah. Arr, 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 I can't believe <laughs> I I'm just want to know if he's turned in, uh, if he's turned into our, or tuned into our show. You think he's that kind of a loyal For his viewer? safety, he's probably tuned out of it. All right, thank you, Sarah. Now, getting to see these balloons, if you're coming out here, I mean, it's a it's a one-of-a-kind experience. It's something you have to check out. CBS 2's Krista McPeak talked to families that are out here yesterday about why getting up early is totally worth it. This is Berkeley. He's headed up to his first hot air balloon ride with his brother and sister. All right, here we go, guys. It's a family event for them and many others. Marlita drove from McCall with her two grandsons. I just think it's a great family event um, and you can kind of make a field trip out of it. Her grandsons have never been to the Spirit of Boise. They too are also hopping on their first hot air balloon. What do you think it might feel like? Um, floating. And these Boise siblings just got done. It's real good. But that was scary when I went down. When I walked down, it's like we're over it pretty high. Brothers Christian, Brendan, and Everett look down it. waving at their mom. Bye! And for kids like Berkeley. Thanks for many of them. Growing up on a balloon? Take. They're feeling the spirit. Yeah, it was fun. I really liked it. Of Boise. All right, if that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what does. I mean, that was one, two, you know, that was just a glimpse of the experiences that hundreds, if not thousands, of children's got to, children's children uh, got to have yesterday out here. So much fun. Uh, we want to see what you're experiencing while you're out here. Obviously, we're inviting everyone to come back out today, tomorrow, through the weekend. We want to share your photos, though, with the uh, Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. So uh, head to our website, idahonews.com slash chime in. That link right there on your screen is the place to send these. Uh, we want to show some of these in our newscast. This is also a great way for you to share them with your family and friends. Maybe people who don't live here in the Treasure Valley and know what this event's all about. Yeah, let's make him a little bit jealous yeah. this morning. I think those, Roland's uh, trying to make us jealous of his job all the time, oh. so we can make our friends and family jealous too. Right. Well, keep it locked here all morning long. CBS 2 is providing you exclusive coverage of the Spirit of Boise, getting you ready early on here at Ann Morrison Park. We also have live coverage on IdahoNews.com and the CBS 2 Facebook page. All right, for now, we'll send it back to Sophia Dumani. She's live in the studio. She's kind of covering, holding the, for, holding the fort down and giving us a look at today's top stories. Well, firefighters in Bolivia are battling through hot weather to fight a forest fire. The country is struggling to contain raging wildfires near Bolivia's border with Paraguay and Brazil. So in this dry part of the country, firefighters smothered flames using just machetes, shovels and dry earth. Officials said at least 3,000 square miles have been impacted by those fires. 
And developing news on the tropical storm as Puerto Rico avoids the full wrath of Hurricane Dorian. And the U.S. Virgin Islands took a more direct hit with power outages and flooding, but not much more than that. Meanwhile, Florida is in a state of emergency as it prepares for the storm to make a possible Labor Day landfall. Officials are advising residents to be prepared. Even though if a small one or pretend it's not coming, you pretend it's coming. Well, Dorian pounded the U.S. Virgin Islands as a Category 1 hurricane and is now forecast as to reach Florida this weekend. Homeowners are preparing. They're filling up sandbags or installing hurricane-resistant windows and doors. Dorian may also move north into other states like South Carolina and Georgia. Well, Idaho's governor says he's still fighting the fight when it comes to the state having to pay for inmates gender reassignment surgery. Federal judge ruled the state must provide and pay for an IDOC inmates gender reassignment surgery. So Adri Edmo's attorney says his clients being held in a men's prison putting her in danger. Governor Little was on Fox News addressing this case. He says, quote, the hardworking taxpayers of Idaho should not be forced to pay for convicted sex offenders gender reassignment surgery and says, quote, the procedure is contrary to the medical opinions of the treating physician and multiple mental health professionals, end quote. Well, the state has spent more than $300,000 to appeal the federal court's decision. CBS2 has learned from IDOC that five inmates have requested for gender reassignment surgery just this year. Well, a Melba man will spend the rest of his life in prison after being found guilty of killing a hitchhiker in 2017. Nicholas Vanderbridge pleaded guilty to criminal conspiracy and first degree murder. Montana Reed of Twin Falls and Willie Raby of Mountain Home are also charged with conspiracy to commit first degree murder. Authorities found Hunter Smith's body in October two years ago. He'd been shot. Well, hey, if you're out here yesterday for Cat Bed Kids Day, we saw some kids. They're out basically in their in their coats, their winter coats. Yeah. They had some blankets with them. Sarah, if anyone's coming out early again, is that do you need to bundle up that much? Probably not as much as yesterday. Yeah. It was very cold yesterday, and as we said earlier, we're still like kind of feeling a little too hot even in these jackets. Right. But you Light definitely jacket though. Still exactly, you still yeah. want to layer. Layering is always your friends in situations mm -hmm. like this. Obviously, it's only going to get colder before sunrise, so you want to you know prepare right. for that. Maybe bring out a little coffee or hot chocolate with you to hold to. But <laughs> other than that. We're going to start heating up very quickly as we get that daytime sunlight. So we are looking by about noon, 82 degrees. We are going to still see partly cloudy skies by about noon. Keep in mind, we are going to see a little bit of cloud cover starting off your morning for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. We're going to be sitting in the low 70s, quickly warming up to the mid 70s. But overall, noon about 82 degrees by 3 o'clock, 90 sunny skies. So looking at a very nice day. Not as hot as yesterday, though, and by 6 o'clock, about 91 degrees. This all depends on how this ridging of high pressure continues continuing to push in just how um, much it will move in as well as this low pressure, how breezy it will get. But we may hit about 94 for our daytime high. We're looking into that. OK, yeah, yeah, so we're still I mean, those are well above average. Yep, and, well uh, above average. Yeah. But hey, as we transition into the seasons, you're definitely going to start noticing not only the cooler temperatures in the morning and the evening, but the, the later sunrises and the earlier sunsets, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, very so, true. All already right, feeling you. it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sarah. Let's send it back to Sophia in the studio. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll move from weather to traffic. Take a look. We have a traffic cam for you. Only about 515 this morning. Hopefully, maybe you're still sleeping. Maybe you're getting ready to head out to the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Either way, it's looking pretty good as to be expected. Not too many people out on the road. Everything seems to be moving smoothly. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning. Sure. All right, we're back out here live at Ann Morrison Park. Coming up in just a few minutes, yesterday was Cap Ed Kids Day. So much fun. We'll have some of the highlights from that event and show you uh, what kids were out here learning, and we'll have a preview more of uh, what's coming up today and tomorrow as well. Well, it's time for your question of the day. First, let's take a look at yesterday's question. So there are about 330 of these in America, down from about 4,000 in the 60s. What are these? This was a hard one. The drive-in drive theaters was the answer. So today's question, they debuted in 1976, and the last ones were made in 2005. But you may still have several of these in your home. What is it? We'd love to hear your guesses. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. 
A STEM action drone is ready and so are we. CBS2 is live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic at Ian Morrison Park. This is presented by CapEd Credit Union, CBS2 and Town Square Media. Our STEM action drone captured these images from yesterday's CapEd Kids Day. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm wondering if any of the drone video we get this week beats that. Pretty hard to. That footage is incredible. Mm -hmm. So uh, really happy to share that with you. The, the experience of CapEd Kids Day, th this was a mistake. This was something that they actually said happened kind of by mistake, or not by mistake, but by, it wasn't intentional because it, the wind one year was so bad that they couldn't actually let the balloons fly, so they tethered them down and instead kind of gave kids uh, the chance to go up in them. But now it's something that kids will never forget and happens every year, and it's a huge part because of CapEd. Fun. Why? Because it uh, really goes super high. Mom, you can come closer and take pictures. Come on, let's go. I just can't get over what a gorgeous. All righty. We got three here, fairly small ones. Good. Three's a magic number. We'll cool off slightly here. <laughs> And we'll be squared away. Okay, ready, pal? Well, this is Jimmy yeah. there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, you can peek out there. Very sweet. Oh, so loud. What? So loud. Okay, and we're flying. Well, that would be louder. <laughs> Later on this morning, we'll. Uh... All right, I know it was Kids Day. Uh, we went up two yesterday. Yeah, and if you we were one of the kids. If you haven't been in a hot air balloon, you know, we were talking to, to the pilot, and she goes, we're off the ground right now. And you're kind of like, no, we're not. Yeah. I mean, you're only like six inches off the ground, but you don't even realize kind of, you know, the, the takeoff you, you do on a plane, but not on a higher balloon. Very and cool. she made sure Lori was our pilot, Lori Spencer. She was sure to tell us that the biggest difference for, between children and Brian and I was mostly just that we weighed more, so it was going to take more gas to get us up. So, and, but the first time, I'll, I will say, like when she pulled that lever to get the fire to ignite um, up into the balloon, it scared me. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's I mean, loud. it's louder than you think. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. But uh, very cool to check out. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the launching of those balloons, if whether they get to do that, it all depends on weather. So, I mean, mm -hmm. we're kind of keeping an eye on the breeze and other things happening in the area today. So how's it looking so far? Well, right now we are just looking at breezes for at least this morning, just about five miles an hour. So nothing bad, not impeding, you know, yeah. the spirit balloon Good. classic at all. But overall for the day, it is going to be a little chilly to start off your morning. Not as cool as yesterday. Keep in mind, we are going to, as soon as we feel that sun, Sunrise at about 7.03 today. We are going to heat up pretty quickly, but right now we are looking at about the mid to low 70s for your morning. High temperatures though today, we are going to see about 94 degrees in downtown Boise, 97 in Ontario, as well as Mountain Home. So going to get pretty toasty in those regions. 84 up in McCall, so a pretty pleasant day. But keep in mind, we do have a low pressure that's pushing into Oregon right now, and that may bring a potential isolated storms to the Long Valley for today. There is a chance of that. So what to expect? Sun and clouds for our day today. It is going to be hot for the rest of the week. We may see a few mountain showers for our day, but overall it is looking like a nice and sunny weekend. Beautiful conditions are expected today. We are just going to see a little bit of cloud cover that should move out by about the two o'clock hour. So keep that in mind. That low pressure is what cooled us down a little bit for the day today. But as we head into the weekend, head into our Friday, we're just going to continue to warm on up. So let's take a look at that seven day forecast for you. So for today, a daytime high about 94 degrees, some cloud cover but that will be moving out on Friday. 91 is what we're looking at, but Saturday and Sunday will be back up to the mid 90s. It's going to be a hot one, sunny skies, so definitely a nice weekend. If you're heading up to the mountains, it's going to be mid 80s, but we are staying well above average as we continue into the weekend and your work week, so we'll be watching that closely. Overall, we haven't seen, you know, that cool breeze that we normally see around this time of the year, looking at, you know, the end of summer, still waiting on that. Yeah, it's going to be a hot Labor Day weekend. Yes, so. it is. It, it will be, and also remember a lot of high school football games mm -hmm. back in session. College of Idaho is home this weekend, right. so football gets going, and uh, yeah, some of those turf fields they can they can get a little bit warmer too than yeah. what we're just feeling uh, in the stands. So yeah. get ready for that. Get the sunscreen out again, and uh, for now we'll have to get the other sunscreen out a little bit later. But we'll send it back to <laughs> Sophia in the studio. Thanks, you guys. Well, moving from weather to traffic, again, nothing too much to report for you right now. 520 right here. Um, not too many people up right now. Pretty early still. Uh, we're always up really early, but I never have a problem on the road at this time. You can see here traffic moving really nicely. Hopefully you're maybe sleeping or maybe you're getting ready to head out to the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Either way, you shouldn't have a problem this morning. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning.
Okay, it's time for our question of the day. First, let's take a look at Wednesday's question. There are about 330 of these in America. That's down from 4,000 in the 60s. What are they? We'd love to hear your guesses. Um, and excuse me, we'll move backwards here. Now, the number of the day, it takes a closer look at one of the biggest issues headed into the 2020 election. 31% of adults nationwide say they believe the U.S. economy is getting bigger. But a weekly survey by both job creators and network and robmassusen.com revealed that more people feel like it's actually getting worse. 34% believe this, marking the second week in a row where the pessimists have actually outnumbered the optimists. It's also the first time since this has happened since the government shutdown ended in January. Coming up on CBS 2 News this morning, as some try to address the global issues, making an impact on people is key. We'll show you one social experiment, though, that gets a different response. And CBS2 and the Dapper Donut want to give you and your coworkers coffee and donuts on us. Enter your business through the contact session on IdahoNews.com. Really easy. Just click on Mugshot Monday and you can win. New news this morning. Well, new sculptures outside Laguna Beach City Hall are turning heads and disturbing some people. So sculptures depict a man wearing a hoodie with his face blocked from the sun while playing a lawn game or an outdoor activity. So the message is that social commentary on global warming. The installation did get mixed reviews from residents, though. I guess for tease, we can just say I like. All right, we're back out here live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. So much coming your way throughout the next half hour and all morning long. We'll have a rundown of what you can expect out here for Media Day coming up. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. We're so excited to be back for another day of action here at Ann Morrison Park. Uh, CBS2, of course, uh, partnering with Cap Ed Credit Union Town Square Media. So we have some awesome partners here in the Treasure Valley who are helping us out with this event. But our crews are set up. We are ready to go. We're ready to see those balloons start rolling in here shortly to get them ready for takeoff here at Ann Morrison. Yeah, yeah. We, we I think I see some behind us actually rolling on in. Okay. So yeah, good news. news. All the action's going on behind us, but yeah. it's so bright out we can't see anything. Right. So. As the sun comes up, we had a beautiful sunrise yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we will again oh, today and just kind of, it gets you excited for what will be happening here in just, uh, just a matter of hours. Let's take a, a quick rundown of what you can expect today. This is called Media Day. It doesn't mean it's only open to the media. You can come out too. They're calling this the first introduction day of the event. Yeah, these festivities today, and, and this is kind of the typical mm -hmm. time frame I think that we're going to see each morning uh, from here on out right around 645. I know sometimes they'll get pushed back a little bit kind of that 645 715 range events today should last for a couple of hours. So come on down say hey to us. Uh, check out some of the balloons as they launch uh, hopefully up into the sky. Which, uh, which is always super, super exciting. So yesterday everything was tethered down for Kids Day. Yeah, so this this week's events, of course, if you have work, if you were here yesterday for, for Kids Day, the, the balloons, weather permitting, of course, mm -hmm. should take flight for the first time. So even if you're not at any Morrison Park just around the area, you should get some uh, some cool views later on this morning. Today, uh, make sure to stop by. Tomorrow is what they're calling VIP launch day. Get your cameras ready. There is no better way to kick off the holiday weekend than by watching countless hot air balloons take to the sky. I think we're thinking around 50 or so yeah. hot air balloons. Yeah, huge, huge Event. And then, of course, if you're looking for something to do on Friday night, obviously not everyone, this isn't everyone's jam. I mean, maybe you're up early, maybe you couldn't sleep last night, so this is not your normal. Exactly. This is not your normal. I'm a night person, yeah. so I'm, an, I'm probably a night glower as well. You definitely want to get out there and check it yeah, out. Yeah, this is so much fun. Just tons of balloons all lit up in the sky. Uh, really something that you won't see very many other places across the country, so a cool event there. That one runs from about 6 until 10 uh, on Friday night, so mark that one on the calendar. Yeah, too. and then once we roll into the weekend, the fun continues Saturday and Sunday. There are morning launches, and you're are invited to come out here to Ann Morrison Park and check them out. It is important to note that these launches, uh, of course, the schedule's not set in stone, not like a kickoff for a football game, but they should start around 645. They could continue until uh, as late as 845. 
Yeah, and a lot of this uh, all depends on the word weather. Yes, <laughs> so what are some does. of the elements, I mean, for people who maybe aren't super familiar with the spirit of Boise, uh, what are some of the things that we're really paying attention to when it comes to Well, definitely weather? the number one for these balloons is winds aloft up yes. in our atmosphere because where they don't have technically engines, they do have, you know, that heat bringing them up in the atmosphere, the cold air pushes them down, the heat moves them up, but overall it's really that wind and they're actually fantastic at telling, you know, when the wind is going to gust in certain directions, but that's really what moves them into their certain areas. And overall, our chief meteorologist, yeah. Roland Sedham, he is the weather forecaster for the CBS2 News, mm -hmm. uh, for CBS2 News, as well as the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Yeah. He's going to be giving his forecast in just a little bit to make sure that all of those pilots are safe up in the skies. Ballooning is, is probably the most, it's the purest form of flight. Don't take what you see here for granted. It's real art, it's real science, it's real uh, airmanship. It, it takes a lot and it takes a tremendous amount of support from your ground crew to launch you and then follow you as you move through the Treasure Valley and then receive you when you land and then help you take this thing down, deflate it, roll it up, put it away, and get it ready for the next day. One of the responsibilities that I have is that I'm the lead forecaster for the classic. And that means that before the pilots come in and actually start setting up the balloons, I'm the guy who leads the weather discussion. And we talk about things like winds aloft and what the forecast is like, what the environment is like. The other responsibility I have uh, is to actually operate the drone. Since Captain Nick is on vacation, I'm the other drone pilot for the station, so I get to fly the drone and get some of that spectacular video because this event is probably one of the most scenic events that we see here in the Treasure Valley. So I think capturing it from the drone, from the STEM Action drone, is a great perspective. Flying an airplane is basically compared to flying a hot air balloon because the hot air balloon, the only thing that you can really control is up and down. It's the winds that carry you in these different directions. So for the, the rest of the week, I'll be um, uh, the lead forecaster again. Each day the balloons go up through the weekend and then also flying the drone for the station Monday to, or Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning. So I'll be here Thursday and Friday as well. For an event like this, it's, it's really a privilege. It, you know, it looks so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're at, it just looks so peaceful and beautiful. And then yesterday was our, our first time in it. We Kids day, we went up in it. We're big kids too. They, yeah. they, they, they had no qualms <laughs> had about no that. But that first time, they kind of like, the, the propane shoots up. You go like, whoo! You know, you think it's a, a little bit like a roller coaster, and that's where like the camera will take your picture. Yeah, uh, but yeah, hey, exactly. It's a, it's it's a very fun. cool experience. Well, and speaking of that scream, if you've ever watched CBS Two in the morning back in the studio, if if there's ever anything that that initiates a scream, Brian's is higher pitched than mine. So uh, just yeah. uh, had, had a little just, side just noting that. that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> important to note. Sure. Yeah, nothing to uh, hey, nothing to scream nothing about to if scream you're about, if you're going to yeah. go up in a plane, one of the lucky or plane a hot air balloon, uh, one of the lucky ones to do so should be a great experience. Hopefully, it seems like we're going to have a great day for it yet again. Yeah, it should be a fantastic day it is a little bit breezier today and a little bit um, a little bit warmer as well as you can tell so weather yeah. permitting that these balloons will get off the ground but if you are heading down here to Ann Morrison Park just make sure that you're layering it's not as cool as it was yesterday but definitely we're gonna start warming up pretty quickly I mean right now even right. just in these jackets we're wearing getting a little bit toasty but definitely laying is your friend right now we're just in the mid 70s low 70s as we're cooling down coolest part of the day is yeah. around sunrise mm -hmm. at about seven o'clock today but overall by eight o'clock 85 degrees 9 o'clock 70 and then by 10 o'clock 74 we are looking though at a daytime high of about 94 degrees so we're looking at another hot day on our hands but overall satellite and radar right now what we are seeing we have some low pressure pushing into uh, central Oregon but overall that just is potentially creating some scattered showers up in the Long Valley but very low chance of that we are seeing again some precipitation on our satellite and radar just pushing southwest to northeast into the mountain home area but right now just looking like a little bit of cloud development across the region by about two o'clock today we are going to start clearing out beautiful sunny skies and warming up very quickly so for our future cast you can see that the clouds just pushing out of the area to the um, north 
east of us. But overall, what we're looking at is just a little bit of cloud cover for our day so that will be clearing out very quickly. And for the weekend, it's looking like a beautiful weekend. Going to be hot, mid 90s, but up in the mountains, it's going to be about mid 80s. So a very, very nice weekend on our hands. Well, oh. yeah, and if we're being selfish and talking about the spirit of Boise, you, you want those hot days so that maybe mm -hmm. it's not quite as chilly when you go out uh, and, and watch those launches in the mornings. Really I remember so many years in the past going and you know getting that uh, hot chocolate mm -hmm. for the first uh, for the first time in the season right don't eat it this morning that's for sure all right well getting to check out these hot air balloons it's it's a one-of-a-kind experience maybe a once-in-a-lifetime experience for some people cbs 2's chris mcpeak talk to families out here about why getting up early is totally worth it this is berkeley he's headed up to his first hot air balloon ride with his brother and sister all right here we go guys It's a family event for them and many others. Marlita drove from McCall with her two grandsons. I just think it's a great family event um, and you can kind of make a field trip out of it. Her grandsons have never been to the Spirit of Boise. They too are also hopping on their first hot air balloon. What do you think it might feel like? Uh, floating. And these Boise siblings just got done it's real good. But that was good when I went down. When I looked down, it's like we're over it pretty high. Brothers Christian, Brendan, and Everett look down waving at their mom. Bye. And for kids like Berkeley. Going up on a balloon? They're feeling the spirit. It was fun. I really liked it. Of Boise. All right, well, we know so many of you are going to come out here. It's such an amazing experience, and obviously it's better to be here in person, but in case you can't, in case you have family members, friends who can't get out there, take some photos, share them with them, and we want to see your photos too. This photo gallery, by the way, is already up on our website. There are some stunning pictures coming in from viewers, so uh, share them with us on idahonews.com slash chime in. That's the easiest place to send them. Uh, we will show some of them on that photo gallery online and also right here on our newscast too. Yeah, stay here all morning long. As that sun begins to come up, there'll be a lot more going on behind us. should lead to a uh, beautiful sunrise. You'll see a lot more than just than just us, uh, <laughs> yeah. our, our talking. Yeah, so, we promise it yes, will So keep it here. CBS2 is also providing live coverage of the Spirit of Boise on IdahoNews.com and the CBS2 Facebook page. All right, we'll send it back to Sophia Dumani in the studio. She's been holding down the fort with a, a look at some more of today's top stories. Thanks, you guys. Well, Arizona authorities are on the lookout for two murder suspects who escaped in a prison van. Blaine and Susan Barksdale were extradited by a private transport company when they overpowered the driver and actually got away. Now the U.S. Marshal Service is offering a $10,000 reward for information that helps them find these suspects. We want the police to, to do whatever they got to do to get, get these people. Now, they were last seen driving a red GMC Sierra pickup with an Arizona license plate. It has damage to the front passenger side and the rear bumper, so be on the lookout for that. Investigators think they may be traveling through Arizona. Authorities are asking anyone with information or anyone who's seen these bark sales to call 911 or 88 crime. Idaho's governor says he's still fighting the fight when it comes to having the state pay for inmates' gender reassignment surgery. So a federal judge ruled the state must provide and pay for an IDOC inmates' gender reassignment surgery. Adri Edmo's attorney says that his client's being held in a men's prison, putting her in danger. Governor Little was on Fox News addressing this case, and he says, quote, the hardworking taxpayers of Idaho should not be forced to pay for a convicted sex offender's gender reassignment surgery. He says, quote, the procedure is contrary to the medical opinions of the treating physician and multiple mental health professionals, end quote. Well, the state has spent more than $300,000 to appeal the federal court's decision. CBS2 has learned from IDUC that five inmates have requested for gender reassignment surgeries just this year. Well, a Boise man is accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl yesterday inside a vehicle. Boise police says Taser Bowd gave the teen who he knew a ride to a local business, stole food and alcohol, and then drove her to a park. That's where he assaulted her. She eventually was able to make it her way out of that car and call for help. He's facing felony charges of sexual battery of a minor, second-degree kidnapping, as well as burglary. Thank you, Sophia. Out here live at Ann Morrison Park, getting you ready for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. All right, you know, we saw such a, a vast difference from this time yesterday mm -hmm. until, you know, 
two hours, three hours down the road when kids were going in those uh, those hot air balloons. If you're coming out again, I guess layers was the name of the game yesterday. Is it again today? Yes, it is. Definitely a little bit warmer today, though, so yeah. some good news there. But who doesn't want to get out here to Ann Morrison Park and just hold their coffee and their hot chocolate? It's still going to be a little bit brisk before sunrise, so mm -hmm. if you're getting here early, keep that in mind. But we are going to start warming up very quickly as we hit that sunrise. So again, also these warmer layers. temperatures are bringing the bugs out. <laughs> there are, yes, we do. Bugs. We, yeah. we if you notice have us some twitching around here. But the good news is we are looking at our partly cloudy skies or a little bit of that cloud cover pushing into the area. It will be moving out and we're looking at gorgeous sunny skies as we head into your daytime. But let's take a really quick look at your adventure cast at noon. We're looking at about 82 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Um, looking at by three o'clock that moving out to the northeast of us, 90 degrees and sunny by six o'clock though. 91 degrees is what we're looking at. Sunny skies, but keep in mind, it just depends on how breezy it gets out there with cooling us down because we may hit that 94 degree mark. Just make sure you're hydrating accordingly as soon as you get out here, you know, yeah. in that direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. As far as winds, all of that, we have uh, Chief Meteorologist Roland said, yes, and again, we, we kind of talked about his role here. Super important that uh, that launch meeting usually takes place right around 6.15, mm -hmm. 6.30. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll, he'll be, actually, he's probably, he's probably like, what, getting in his car he's right here. about now? Oh, he's yeah, here. I, I thought I saw oh, him. There he is. He's eating yep, a donut. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he is here ready to rock and roll. So we'll have uh, much more from him over the next hour. He'll yeah. join us live here around 6 o'clock uh, to give us kind of an update on what he's seeing out there, too. Yeah. All right, let's send it back to Sophia in the studio. Oh, it's going to be such a fun day. Well, we'll move from weather to traffic. Uh, not too much to worry about. It's about 5.45 this morning. Uh, maybe you're still sleeping. Maybe you're just waking up, getting ready to head to Spirit of Boise. But, yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much to worry about there. Uh, as to be expected, really early. Uh, traffic's moving along really nicely. Nothing to worry about. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning. And now to your question of the day. So the question is, they debuted in 1976. The last ones were made in 2005, but you may still have several of these in your home. What are they? Okay, let's see some of these guesses. I don't really know where I'd start with this. Okay, Crystal says dial phones. Okay, yeah, actually that's a really good one and I feel like those are cool. Um, Kathy answering machines, yes, definitely. I feel like the dial phones are a really cool accessory in your home. Okay, Jack says real nickels. Huh, interesting, okay. I don't even know where I'd start with this one, but if you think you know the answer, share your guesses with us on our Facebook page or our Twitter. We'd love to read them out loud, and maybe your guess will make it on the morning show. We'll reveal you uh, the actual answer, though, at the end of the show, so be sure to stay with us. Not totally accurate. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Who, who is who this Who just guy? sat down next to us? <laughs> Yeah, do you have any credentials on you, sir? No, no, I'm just passing through. Okay. Yeah, I heard they have free Coca-Cola on the 10th. Oh, so. oh All right. there we'll you see go. what we That's can track down for you. Coming back, we'll have a uh, interview here with Scott Spencer. Spirit of Boise, you can't have this event without you. Yeah, we really can't. Well, I hope not. Well, yeah. We should name that. <laughs> something. Do not confuse motion with progress. That is my message to Congress as they look to tackle the rising cost of health care and surprise billing that occurs when patients are hit with out-of-pocket charges that are not covered by their insurance. Both parties in Congress have come together to try and tackle this problem, with a proposal by Senators Lamar Alexander and Patty Murray gaining traction. Their solution? To allow the government to set rates that would limit the cost of medical services. Rate setting would make it hard for hospitals to retain doctors, which harms communities across the country where we've already been experiencing a shortage of physicians. This proposal would allow the government to dictate prices, when the proper solution would be to create standards that allow patients to shop around for doctors who are totally in their network, and therefore avoid surprise costs. Rate setting embodies the very opposite of capitalist values and opens the door to dangerous socialized medicine. The free market should be the solution, not more government regulation. Here's the bottom line. When confronted with an issue as human and pervasive as high surprise healthcare costs, it is easy to make ideological compromises. Republicans in Congress should absolutely reject this notion. Our country cannot afford to move even an inch closer to socialist Medicare for all. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic.
A STEM action drone is ready, and so are we. CBS2 is live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic at Ann Morrison Park, presented by Cap Ed Credit Union. CBS2 and Town Square Media, our STEM action drone captured these images from yesterday's Cap Ed Kids Day. All right, it's just about 5.50 this morning. It's still dark out here, but uh, we brought we brought someone wearing a, a little brighter color than we did into the picture. And, and thought I'm not very good at spelling, but I don't think you can spell Spirit of Boise without your name in there. Well, that, that's very kind of you. I, I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can be replaced, but I, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's sure uh, a source of pride, and, and I feel very honored that it's it's become such an iconic event in the community. It's, it's a big deal. We, we know, I'm sure there's a lot of planning that goes involved. Just give us a kind of a, a little glimpse. I'm sure this isn't just, you're not thinking about this about a week uh, about a week ago. You said, let's let's put some balloons together. <laughs> we go to work full time on it about the middle of March. Wow. And and uh, as you'll see this morning, this morning is, is completely different than yesterday mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put about 35, 40 balloons in the air this morning and they're going to fly out of here. And... Uh, uh, it, it's it's going to be quite something to see. So we're we're dealing with the airspace issues and challenges. We convert this park into an airport, literally, mm -hmm. um, uh, for the week. Uh, there are waivers to be filed with the FAA. There's paperwork that our town square brothers and sisters do for us that that uh, with the city, uh, who's is very helpful. Uh, uh, we have a great relationship with uh, the mayor's office, and, and everybody pitches in. Yeah. So, and this year we're thrilled to have the Convention of Visitors Bureau as a new sponsor, and it's a big deal. Yeah, it really is. And I, okay, you've been involved with this since the beginning. 1991 was the first year. I mean, how to give someone an idea if they haven't lived here, you know, those 29 years? How has this evolved since then? Well, Steve Schmader and I, uh, the former director of the Boise River Festival. I was the first guy he met when he came to town, he says, and, and uh, I, I told him, I said, you can't have a party without balloons. And, and <laughs> so we started with 10, and, and uh, we've had as many as 100 for the 10th anniversary. And uh, we figured when the Winter River Festival went away, we had been flying balloons before, uh, so we might as well just keep flying and, and uh, do it again. So he said, sure. And, it was kind of, I think he was pretty scared. I come off pretty, pretty mellow to people, you know. So, um, but it worked out great. We had our balloons. We did our glow. The the one thing I'll take away from that, and I don't I don't know if it was the first or second year, Tony Orlando was on the stage, and we had almost a hundred thousand people on the on the mall. And uh, as the balloons came up, he said uh, he turned around, stopped his song, and said, "Look at that!" And he turned around and all. The balloons were coming up for the night glow at the same time, oh, so um, it's been like that ever since. Yeah, and um, just something people look forward to every year, you know. Yeah. We go to a school or something like that, and the kids are when's Kids Day, and everybody knows about that. And we had a big day yesterday. It was it was good. We we think we did something close to four thousand kids. Wow. Whoa. So that's a bunch considering what we did in the the first time we did it, so it was good. So say a kid was out here yesterday, fell in love with hot air balloons, what, what can they do now? What, how can they stay involved? <laughs> well, if you, if we, 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 and there were four pilots out here that uh, I trained, got started, and, and met at, at school visits mm -hmm. or something like that, so it, it does happen. And, and in fact, flying my Coca-Cola balloon was one of those kids, you know, That's I landed awesome. in the field, and took him for a ride or, or something like that to, to get him going, and, and so, if, if they're a teenager, they should reach out to me right away, mm -hmm. and and we'll bring them right in and, and get them assigned to a balloon to crew and teach them the ropes, and we That's, like doing that stuff. It's so cool. Well, okay, we know you're a busy guy. Uh, we know you have a lot to prep for this morning. You're also bringing in the bugs, Scott. Yeah. They've gotten worse. Yeah, I don't get uh, that. It's, 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 you, it's, well, they're attracted to light, and look at the color of this it's, thing. It's That's the mad attack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, so we'll let you get going, but obviously we know Sarah. I sure I mean, appreciate everything you're doing for us. Well, yeah. Thank you for putting on an event that's you know really one of a kind. Mm -hmm. It is pretty unique for the, the, the town. Yeah, it's a throwback to the '60s for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we know Sarah's going to give you a look at the forecast. We'll take yeah, those good. graphics now, Scott. We know you're a busy man. We'll let yeah. you get on with your way. Thank you, you did such a good job not cussing. <laughs> I, I think the mic's still be on. So <laughs> let's my not mom's cuss. watching for crying <laughs> <Yeah>. out loud. <laughs> thank you again, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Well, weather-wise, if you are heading down here for the spirit of Boise, you're definitely going to want to lay it up but right now 70 degrees outside so pretty warm out there you're definitely going to want to bring your coffee or your hot chocolate we still 
are a little bit away from sunrise, but winds are calm out here, so some good news for our yes, balloon. Yes our balloonists out here at the Spirit of Boise. But high temperatures for the day after we hit sunrise, it is going to start heating up pretty quickly, about 94 degrees daytime highs in both Boise and Caldwell, 97 in Ontario, 97 Mountain Home, about 84 up in McCall. So expecting a very toasty day on our hands. But let's take a really quick look at what you can expect for the day. We're looking at a mix of sun and clouds as we move into our Thursday. I'm starting off your morning. Good news though, we're going to start to see that cloud cover push out to the northeast as we head into our afternoon. But overall for the rest of the week, we are still looking pretty hot, well above average, possibly a few mountain showers, but overall a gorgeous weekend ahead. Jet stream forecast for you right now. We have high pressure building in out of the southeast. The only thing that's cooling us down just a little bit is some low pressure seeping in and that may cool us down a little bit further for tomorrow morning. But other than that, a very nice weekend will be on our hands as well as for tomorrow. But seven day forecast for you really quick heading into the weekend. We are looking at a high of about 91 degrees for tomorrow, but mid 90s for both our Saturday and Sunday, staying well above average. But keep in mind, yeah, it's the end of summer, still very hot out there. We haven't gotten that cool rush just yet out of the West. We're waiting for that still. So just make sure you're hydrating accordingly when it gets toasty in those that daytime. But at least for the spirit of Boise, just make sure you're layering. That's your friend as soon as sun, sunrise hits it's going to get pretty hot all right yeah thank you sarah coming up in just a few minutes the uh, chief meteorologist of cbs2 and of the spirit of boise balloon classic will be joining us cbs2 the official tv sponsor of the spirit of boise balloon classic Good morning and welcome to day two of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. We're so proud to be back here for more action here with Ann Morrison, uh, Denny Hawkins, Brian Levin, uh, Sarah Jacobson. We also have Roland Sedum up here with us. Uh, but you're looking at awesome drone video from yesterday. Uh, we are partnering though with CapEd Credit Union and Town Square Media to make this event happen for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Uh, our crews are all set up and ready to go here at Ann Morrison. So now we're just waiting for the sun to come up. That's kind of what we're waiting on at this point. Yeah, this is really the in first introduction day to this year's event. Of course, yesterday was Kids Day, but they were tethered flights. Today, hopefully, we have those air balloon, hot air balloons taking off. Yeah, we invite everybody to come down and check this out, see the balloons. And uh, when we say everyone, we mean everyone. We even invited this mm -hmm. guy to come and hang out with us oh, well, this morning you. for media day. So. <laughs> I would have come regardless. He's just here for the breakfast. Yeah. There's breakfast? There's breakfast. <laughs> oh, you just really? made yeah. his day. Really? That's right. <laughs> what are we serving? I don't know. We're stuck here. I think. I thought I smelled something cooking as we'll I pulled up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's my new bacon and eggs cologne. Uh, oh, by Ross oh I like All it. Right. So official, uh, my dog would love you. That's right. They do normally. All right. Official uh, meteorologist uh, uh, forecaster for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. What are we going to be telling the pilots today? Well, we have a low pressure center, a little trough that's sliding from Northern California across Oregon and right up into Northern Idaho. So that's why, as I look up, I don't see as many stars this morning. There's a few high clouds. Wow. Okay. Uh, but you I'm hoping. You can't You can't see anything. From I know. <laughs> it is kind of dark. But I do hope that the clouds start to clear as we start to launch balloons. But the winds are not going to be much of a concern today. And the reason is that the winds at the surface and through the first few thousand feet are very, very light and variable. If anything, the winds are going to be a little bit more northwesterly by mid morning and early afternoon which would, you know, just kind of very, very gently glide the balloons around. It's a fascinating process. Have you guys been in a hot air balloon? We went up yesterday. They just went yesterday. Cool. Tethered. Yeah. But tethered. it was tethered, right? Yeah, but hey, you know what? Yeah. I, I just can't believe we were talking to the pilot, Lori Spencer, and she goes, hey, you're off the ground. And we were like, no, we're not. Yeah. So we cool. looked down, we're like, oh, yeah, we're off the ground. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experience that I don't think really amazing. anything can, can relate to. It's an amazing sensation. But once they get up there, uh, they are just so dependent on what the winds are doing. And sometimes those winds just kind of swirl around the Treasure Valley like this. It's not, you yeah. know, a definitive wind that says, okay, we're going to go from the southeast to the northwest. So I really do call it, you know, flying with a wing and a prayer because you are kind of subject to that. So, yeah, I mean, and, okay, we know you also fly, you're a pilot as well. So, you know, you, you fly drones, you fly planes. I'm surprised you don't fly hot air balloons just to add it to your resume yeah. and make us more jealous. But, Maybe. you know, what is the big, you know, what's the difference between when you're up, when you're looking for, you know, flying as a pilot versus in an air balloon? What are, you, are there differences in the atmosphere that you're paying Well, we're not, to? we're not as restricted when we're flying airplanes right. because, you know, the biggest thing is you have an engine out there that provides all the thrust and then you have the direction to be able to go that you want with the controls on the aircraft. But the biggest thing with a hot air balloon is that you all, the only control you have is the up and down. That's the only control that you have. So we don't have any difficulties in getting someplace, but what we do try to avoid, especially when, like when I fly in the back country in the afternoon, is to avoid the turbulence that forms in the mountains 
as the sun begins to warm the ground and as the ground begins to release that heat into the air, it generates turbulence that can really knock you around pretty good. So we try to avoid that in the late afternoon. And that also happens here in the Treasure Valley. By one, two o'clock in the afternoon, the air becomes very turbulent. You may not feel it on the ground, but if you got in the air, you would definitely feel it. So that's what we try to avoid is, you know, late afternoon flying, if at all possible. Well, so we like flying in the morning for this event. Oh, in the morning, <laughs> the air is nice and yeah. calm and smooth, just like glass. Perfect. Thank you, yeah. Roland. We're yeah. about to get to the pie. Let's also get okay. to that breakfast. It's yeah. too much. Uh, so you're I right. I heard it started long. at 6. So, <laughs> well, for, I mean, regardless of whether you're up in one or just getting to see them, it really is an experience that many kids will never forget. And that happened yesterday at Cap at Kids Day. CBS 2's Kristen McPeak talked to some families about why it was actually worth it to set that alarm clock a little bit earlier. This is Berkeley. He's headed up to his first hot air balloon ride with his brother and sister. All right, here we go, guys. It's a family event for them and many others. Marlita drove from McCall with her two grandsons. I just think it's a great family event um, and you can kind of make a field trip out of it. Her grandsons have never been to the Spirit of Boise. They too are also hopping on their first hot air balloon. What do you think it might feel like? Um, floating. And these Boise siblings just got done. It's real good. But that was good when I went down. When I walked down, it's like we're over it pretty high. Brothers Christian, Brendan, and Everett look down us. waving at their mom. Ah! And for kids like Berkeley, going up on a balloon, okay. they're feeling the spirit. Yeah, it was fun. I really liked it. Of Boise. What? So here's this week's schedule of events. Today is known as Media Day. Make sure to stop by and enjoy the uh, technically the first introduction to this year's events. Tomorrow is VIP launch day. Get your cameras ready because there is no better way to kick off the holiday weekend than by watching countless hot air balloons take to the sky. Okay, and then maybe you're not a morning person. You want to do something in the evening. The uh, Spirit of Boise Night Glow is for you. This is such an awesome event. It happens on Friday nights. Uh, we're showing you a video from last year's performance, so be sure to grab those lawn chairs, maybe the blankets. Uh, it's a little bit cool at night. Come out to Ann Morrison. It's kind of one of those glow shows that you just don't get to see very many places. That is scheduled from 6 until 10 on Friday night before we uh, head into the weekend, which uh, is full of more events. So. Yeah, all right. We, we got rid of Roland. We have another guest joining <laughs> us. It's Kat Fisher from 103.5. Kiss Hi. The Kat, thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thanks morning. for having me. Yeah, yeah. Another morning person. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good to have. Roland's yeah. a little cranky, you know, so we let him go. <laughs> but uh, Kat, uh, you know, Townsquare Media plays such a big role in the spirit of Boise. Uh, I mean, why get involved in this event out of hundreds that take part in the Treasure Valley. I think for for us, this is such a great community event and it's free for people to come and hang out yeah. and see and it just brings people together for an experience that you don't really get all the time. <laughs> this is actually my first time here at the Balloon Classic. I oh, just moved to the Treasure Valley last yeah. fall. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I've always wanted to be a part of and I've always wanted to experience. So I'm really excited and I think I'm part of a big group of people that are just coming in, just moving into the Treasure Valley yeah. and getting to experience this for the first time. That's really exciting. So let's talk about what families can expect to see out here today. What are we looking at for our daytime festivities? I think um, just so many people that are coming out. Obviously yesterday was Kids Day mm -hmm. and the kids got to hang out on the balloons without actually going up. But for the people that are going up in balloons today, I'm going up in a balloon Ooh, today for the oh, first time. Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm really excited. So um, I can't wait to see views of the city that I haven't gotten to see before, but for people who are just coming to, to watch and experience, you know, there's food, there's coffee vendors, and I think just a really fun time for everybody to come and check it out. Oh, it's so fun. Okay, first timer, aside from going up in the balloon itself, what else are you most excited about? For, to, I mean, to see your first spirit of Boise, which is pretty iconic. Um, I can't wait to see hot air balloons up up close and yes. personal. Yes. I've never They're seen it before. Yeah. They're huge. I will tell you that right now. You'll be <laughs> surprised. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited to see that. And then we're doing night glow like you were talking right. about yep. tomorrow night. So it'll just be different experiences every single day. So it's not just like you can come out here one day and you're good and you're done. It's an all week, all weekend yeah. event. 
Awesome. Super cool. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much for joining us. I think we're going to have you back on a little bit later. Uh, Sarah, we all know that this is weather dependent. How are things looking so far? Yes, morning? it is. So far, we are looking good. Now, we're still about an hour away from sunrise. It's a little bit chilly out here, so make sure if you are heading down, layering is your friend. It is warmer than yesterday, though. So if you're out here yesterday, pretty cold. But overall, you just want to make sure you're layering up. Definitely bring that coffee or hot chocolate with you and bundle them up. But overall, as we head into your morning for the spirit of Boise, we are looking at about mid 70s um, when we're looking at sunrise about 64 but satellite and radar right now we are seeing as Roland said earlier some low pressure creeping into Oregon and that is what is going to cool us down a little bit for today into tomorrow but once again we are looking at daytime highs about 94 for tomorrow Keep in mind with our satellite and radar, quite a bit of moisture pushing through the Oregon area, but overall the Treasure Valley, we are looking dry. Best chance for seeing any precipitation would be in Mountain Home area, as well as the Long Valley, but right now we're not seeing that just yet. Overall for the spirit of Boise, though, expecting very nice conditions, um, partly cloudy skies for, you know, lift off, but we are going to be clearing out to sunny skies as we head further on into the day. It's going to heat up very quickly, too. All right, it's still dark out here. We're starting to hear some exciting noises behind us, though, so some of the balloons getting here, they're testing out the fuel to make sure that everything is is that right? They're testing out smoothly. those propane yeah. tanks. This isn't a scene from, you know, Mad Max or Gladiator <laughs> or anything. This is uh, all normal stuff here. And they're, they're huge tanks. We were right under one yesterday for the yeah. first time. <laughs> it's Very a little loud. startling at first. But thank you, Sarah. Keep it here this morning. We're getting you ready for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. CBS2 is providing live coverage of this event on IdahoNews.com and the CBS2 Facebook page. All right, let's send it back to Sophia Dumani in the studio for a look at some of today's top stories. Thanks, you guys. Well, firefighters in Bolivia are battling through hot weather to fight a forest fire. So the country struggling to contain raging wildfires that's near Bolivia's border with Paraguay and Brazil. So in this dry part of the country, firefighters smother flames just using machetes, shovels and dry earth. Officials said at least 3000 square miles have been impacted by those fires. Well, developing news on the tropical storm as Puerto Rico avoids the full wrath of Hurricane Dorian. And the U.S. Virgin Islands took a more direct hit with that. The power outages, there was flooding, but not much more. Meanwhile, Florida is a state of emergency right now. It prepares for the storm to make a possible Labor Day landfall. Officials are advising residents to stay prepared. Even though it's a small one, or pretend it's not coming, you pretend it's coming. Well, Dorian pounded the U.S. Virgin Islands as a Category 1 hurricane and is now forecasted to reach Florida this weekend. Homeowners are preparing. They're filling up sandbags or installing hurricane-resistant windows and doors. Dorian may also move north into other states like South Carolina as well as Georgia. Well, Idaho's governor says he's still fighting the fight when it comes to the state having to pay for inmates' gender reassignment surgeries. So a federal judge ruled the state must provide and must pay for an IDOC inmates' gender reassignment surgery. Adri Edmo's attorney says his client is being held in men's prison and that's putting her in danger. Governor Little was on Fox News addressing that case, and he says, quote, the hardworking taxpayers of Idaho should not be forced to pay for a convicted sex offender's gender reassignment surgery. He also said, quote, the procedure is contrary to the medical opinions of the treating physician and multiple health professionals. Now, the state has spent more than $300,000 to appeal the federal court's decision. CBS2 learned from IDOC that five inmates have requested gender reassignment surgery just this year. Well, a Melba man will spend the rest of his life in prison after being found guilty of killing a hitchhiker in 2017. So Nicholas Vanderberg pleaded guilty to criminal conspiracy and first degree murder. Montana Reed of Twin Falls and Willie Raby of Mountain Home are also charged with conspiracy to commit first degree murder. Authorities found Hunter Smith's body in October. Two years ago, he'd been shot. All right, thank you, Sophia. We're getting closer to closer to what will be another beautiful sunrise over the foothills in the Treasure Valley. And uh, hey, a, a day that we really don't get to see too often about what, what Scott Spencer said. About 40 hot air balloons could be out here today, inflating, getting ready to take people up. You should get beautiful sights all around the valley. So hopefully you can come down to Ann Morrison Park. If not there, Sarah, wherever you're at, you should be seeing a beautiful sight up in the sky today. Oh, yeah, it's going to be another beautiful morning sunrise, very similar to yesterday. Just a little bit more cloud cover, high clouds pushing in. The good news, though, those will be moving out 
for the afternoon, but at least for our launch, we are looking at winds about five miles an hour. So pretty nice overall. We are again, a little bit cool down here. So if you're heading it down, just make sure you're layering up a little bit, but it's really not bad overall. Take a look at our adventure cast for you right now. By noon, we are going to be heating up pretty quickly as soon as we get that daytime heating by 82 by noon, looking at those partly cloudy skies by about three o'clock, 90 degrees as sunshine takes over once again, six o'clock, 91. Keep in mind though, we do have a chance of hitting daytime highs about 94 degrees, not as hot as yesterday, but it's still going to be pretty hot out. So make sure once that sunrise gets up, if you're going to be out and about, just hydrate accordingly. But as far as the Spirit Bloom Classic, we're looking at, you know, some pretty nice conditions once again. Perfect, yeah. perfect. I see more people okay. shuffling in. Hopefully you can get down here yeah. and join us at Ann Morrison Park. We'll stop during the show. We'll say hi. <laughs> not a big deal. All right, but for now, let's send it back to Sophie in the studio. Well, if you are headed out to the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, let's take a look at your traffic route, see if you'll run into any issues. Only 6.15 this morning, so yeah, it's looking pretty good if you're headed out to Spirit of Boise. Doesn't look like you should hit more any traffic, more people on the road than, you know, when we checked an hour ago, but that's to be expected. More people headed out to work, but we do really hope to see you there. Nothing you should worry about. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning. All right, we're back out here live with the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Day two of the action with Media Day. 40 balloons, possibly more, getting ready to launch up into the sky. Uh, we'll have a preview of what you can expect if you're coming out here in the next couple of hours. Well, it's time for your question of the day. First, let's take a look at yesterday's question. There are about 330 of these in America. That's down from about 4,000 of them in the 60s. What are they? The answer was drive-in theaters. Okay, today's question, though. They debuted in 1976, and the last ones were made in 2005, but you may still have several of these in your home. What is it? We'd love to hear your guesses. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. 
The STEM Action Drone is ready, and so are we. CBS2 is live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic at Ann Morrison Park, presented by CapEd Credit Union, CBS2, and Town Square Media. Our STEM Action Drone captured these awesome images from yesterday's Cap and Kids Day. I can't get enough of that every time I see it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, such a cool, I mean, a cool vision to be able to see, but even cooler to experience as a child or anybody. Uh, and this really is something that kids especially will never forget. Here's a look, though, at that early morning adventure that a lot of people say can be summed up in one word. Fun. Why? Because it uh, really goes super high. Mom, you can come closer and take pictures. Come on, let's go. We just can't get over one of the gorgeous. All righty. We got three here, fairly small ones. Good. Three's a magic number. We'll cool off slightly here. <laughs> We'll be squared away. Okay, ready, pal? Well, this is Jimmy yeah. there. There you go. <laughs> okay, you can oh, peek out there. Very sweet. Oh, so loud. What? So loud. Okay, and we're flying. Well, that would be louder. Later on this morning, we'll. Uh... All right, whether you're going up, up, and away, or just out here, or maybe just yeah. to work or school, uh, it looks like we should have another great day, Sarah. Yeah, another beautiful day in store. Again, it is a little bit warmer today, so you might just want a light jacket if you are heading out here. Overall, it is actually pretty, you know, warm today compared to yesterday. Very cold yesterday. In the but, morning. Yes, yeah. in the morning. Uh, hot in, in the, the morning. Let me, yeah, let me say that, because as soon as we get that sunrise, it is going to heat up. We are looking at daytime highs about 94 degrees, mm -hmm. so just make sure you're hydrating accordingly. But let's take a really quick look at temperatures right now across the region. Overall, we are just a little bit cooler, but about around 70 degrees outside right now across the Treasure Valley. But keep in mind, we are going to be warming right up as soon as we get that sunrise pushing through at about 7.03. Around the same time, we're expecting these balloons to start their launch. Winds right now just six miles an hour out of the east. High temperatures, though, we are looking at mid-90s for both Caldwell and Boise. If you are heading up to Ontario, 97, 97 as well for the Mountain Home area. Breezy conditions expected today as well for Mountain Home. A little bit cooler though up to the north of us, 85 for McCall and most of the Long Valley. But as far as what you can expect, we are looking at just a mix of sun and clouds for Thursday. So looking at that, we are looking at again those clouds pushing out as we head into about the two o'clock hour today. It's going to get very hot today and we are going to stay hot for the rest of the week. We do have the possibility of a few mountain showers. Um, earlier today we had talked a little bit about a low pressure center just off the coast of Oregon pushing its way through. A chance of seeing some isolated showers for the Long Valley but overall, a nice sunny weekend is in store. So seven-day forecast for you. Here's what we are expecting today. High in 94. Cloud cover again pushing out by Friday. 91 degrees, so just a little bit cooler as that low pressure makes its way into our region tomorrow. But we're warming up right again on Saturday and Sunday. 95 degrees. If you're heading up to the mountains, though, we're looking at about 85 degrees for your conditions. But overall, a very nice weekend is expected. Sunny skies. Just make sure that you are staying cool out there. Once that sunrise comes, it is, again, going to get hot well above average mm -hmm. as well. It's great. Hey, Boise is an above average place to turn right. the rallies, an above average spot. There Ready for kind of those fall temperatures to, to slide on <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, get on in. It'll be nice, but yeah, toasty Labor Day weekend coming up. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, right. Sarah. Yep. Let's send it back to the studio. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, if you want to go hang out with Brian, Denny, and Sarah, let's take a look at your route over there to Spirit of Boise. We'll check on traffic right now. Uh, not even 6.30 yet this morning, so not too many people out on the road. A little more than before. You can see traffic is moving really nicely and uh, nothing too that you should be really worried about. Um, but we would love to see you over there at Spirit of Boise. So look at that. If this helps you get over there, there's no traffic right now. So hopefully you can make your way over and watch that awesome balloon show. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS2 News this morning. Now we'll take a look at the number of a day and it takes a closer look at one of the biggest issues heading into the 2020 election. So 31% of adults nationwide say they believe the U.S. economy is getting bigger. But a weekly survey by both Job Creators Networks and scottrasmussen.com revealed more people actually feel like it's getting worse. So 34% believe this. That's the second week in a row where pessimists have outnumbered the optimists for this one. So it's also the first time since this has happened since the government shutdown ended in January. Well, later, science is making new developments. A look at the strides helping to fight the battle of extinction.
news this morning. Well, scientists and veterinarians are gathering in Kenya to save the northern white rhino species from extinction. So the team used a new procedure for the first time and successfully gathered five eggs, each from two female rhinos. They're now working on the next task. That's an embryo transfer. There is hope for the northern white rhino, but the fight from extinction is far from over. Well, CBS2 is live at the Spirit of Boise. Out here live at Ann Morrison Park for the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. All right, we, we like to both think we're princesses. No, we have Miss Idaho <laughs> joining us in just a couple of minutes. Well, here's a look at what's coming up tonight on CBS 2. At 7 o'clock, we got the Big Bang Theory, 7.30, Young Shelton. 8 o'clock, Big Brother. I know that's a big fan favorite. And then 9 o'clock, FBI. And, of course, join us back here for CBS 2 News at 10. And now to the question of the day. Don't forget about it. They debuted in 1976, and the last ones were made in 2005. But you may still have several of these in your home. What is it? We'd love to hear your guesses. We'll read some of them next. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Oh, we're so excited to be out here. The pilots are in their pilot briefing right now. I'm starting to see hints of first light, so action is getting ready to go here at Ann Morrison Park. CBS2, though, is so proud to be partnering with Town Square Media, CapEd Credit Union to make this Spirit of Boise possible for you this year. Our crews are set up. We are all ready to go with the launches today. Yeah, now today is, is dubbed Media Day, but everyone's invited out to come out here and see uh, about 40 or so hot air balloons inflate and, and take off. And if you haven't left the house yet, festivities typically start off about 6.45. Sometimes they can be pushed back a little bit. Should last though for a couple of hours, so get the cup of coffee, get moving this morning. You will not regret it, we promise. Uh, we are joined now by uh, Kiki Love from 103.5 KISS yeah, FM. Yeah, thank you guys for having us out. <laughs> by the way, you guys are doing an amazing job and everything looks so great out here. Brian, did you tell him to say that? I did not. <laughs> I know. We're normally out here like, oh, it's just a big you know, field. But hey, everything, you know, everyone's kind of working themselves up right now, getting excited. Uh, what does this kind of event mean, mean for you? And we've had you on there before talking about the spirit of Boise. We can tell that, you know, this is one that kind of sticks out in your mind. Well, I just think when you think of Boise and you know, so many people moving into the city, um, it's in the name, you know, the spirit of Boise. I think this is one of those things. I mean, how many events can you go to where it doesn't cost anything to get in? Right. You can bring your kids out. Yeah. Have an experience, take pictures and put it on social media, and like and do it as an annual kind of thing for your kids growing up and watch them grow as to these hot air balloons. So I just think it's it's what Boise is. Yeah. It's what Boise is. And you're talking about the spirit of you know the spirit of this city. The spirit of 103.5 or 103.5 Kiss FM is maybe a little different than I was thinking. We gotta talk about what, where, where Cat is right now. Right. Because, uh, <laughs> Okay. This is cracking me up. All right, so Kat is my new co-host. We've been together for yes. almost a year, um, and I set her up on a blind date, which you guys didn't know earlier. No, 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 no idea. idea. So, so she's got this guy that she doesn't know, and he just walked over with a cup of coffee, and they just checked in, and it's very awkward, and it's awesome. Okay, they're not only going on a first date; they're going on their first date, their blind first date right. in a hotter. Yes. You can't, you can't check you out. Can't you can't leave. You can't go to the bathroom. bathroom. No, okay, you have back. to have conversation <laughs> in between. <laughs> You know, all of that. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's the perfect day. Perfect day. All right. All right. So uh, I'm sure listeners want to know, is this going to be something that's on tomorrow? Yes. Or, okay. Yes. Or, uh, you're going to have to craft this masterpiece yes. for a couple of days. Yes. There should be video, Snap. There should be Instagram Live. There should be Facebook Live. We'll have it all. So. Okay. Well, I, I, I see her right there. She, she I, I was going to say, she's, 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 she's sitting back there in the corner. Oh, yeah. She, she is here again. <laughs> she's she's right 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and there's something important about, about why you picked out this person, right, for Kat. Yeah, well, Kat got this message randomly on social media. This is a true story that said, You're, stay away from this certain person because this is when things in your life are going to go the wrong direction. And then his name is Kyle. So like 20 hours later, she got a random message. So this couldn't be set up. Mm -hmm. And so a listener said, hey, you know, I, I hear about your dating issues and str struggles like all of us. I think my brother would be perfect for you. So um, we got the message, and at the end, she goes, and his name is Kyle. Oh, so what Kat didn't know was I was working behind the lines to set something up, 
and then just recently told her his name was Kyle, and so um, it's going to be great. Like nothing's going to go wrong. What could go wrong? Oh, what could yeah. happen? What could, what could go, go wrong? wrong? Yeah. So we'll find out. Awesome, Kiki. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you make guys. sure to thank listen in tomorrow. Hang out with her over yeah. there. Yeah, she, I she's waiting for you. I don't see any. Exactly. I don't see any sharp objects over there from her yet. So maybe things are going well so far. Yeah. But, but thank hey, you for joining. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Yeah. You guys doing an amazing job. It's going to be exciting this week. So thank you so much. Well, hey, one. Okay, you can listen to some great tunes. You can watch. You can watch us get ready for the hot air balloon. Sarah, though, everyone needs to know what the weather's yeah. like. Yes, well, right now we are starting to see just a little bit of sunlight move through. I'm seeing some cloud cover pushing through as expected. Partly cloudy skies to start off your morning. All you need is a light jacket if you are heading down here to Ann Morrison Park. Winds about five miles an hour, so looking very nice for our balloonist across the region. Now, let's take a look at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic for today, temperature-wise. Now, most of our cloud cover will continue through about the noon hour. That's when we'll start to see cloud cover filter out of the area. Beautiful sunny skies, but overall, as that daytime heat hits us, we'll start warming up pretty quickly by about 9 o'clock, 70 degrees, 74 by 10 o'clock. So let's really quickly take a look at our satellite and radar. Now, what we're looking at is some low pressure pushing in off of Oregon, and that is what's cooling us down just a little bit for us later today. Daytime highs still, though, going to be hot, about 94 degrees. Keep in mind, though, we are only going to get hotter as we get into the weekend. But as far as any precipitation, best chance of seeing any isolated showers will be across the Long Valley, potentially for the mountain home area. Good news, though, in the next couple of hours that will be pushing out. So some good news there. But overall, for our future cast, again, we're going to see it by 2 o'clock, that cloud cover pushing out. But right now, just barely starting to see the sunrise push on through. If you are heading out here to the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, just make sure you're bringing a light jacket. You definitely want to have you know, hot coffee or hot chocolate to hold on to until we get past that sunrise. But right after sunrise, we will start heating up pretty quickly. Layers are your friend. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> get in, for us getting up early, it, it can be a struggle. And, and then I, I commend you guys because this is not normally, you know, I don't normally wake up in the mornings right. and you guys, but yeah. We're professional. I mean, you know, we got to get up. We got to we gotta put some makeup on. I got to know what time your alarm was. Speaking of which, yes, you look gorgeous. And we also need you to, we, we, gosh, we got to, you know, you got to introduce yourself um, as well. But. My name is Shelby and I'm your Miss Idaho USA 2019. I did get up pretty early today, actually. Okay. So I think four o'clock. Okay. All right. That, we yeah. can still be here. That's my never gets easy. Like though. hour, hurry up and get ready. I have it down to like a science now. All right, Sarah. Perfect. Sarah said dress in layers. I don't know. Is it the sash? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I don't know if that's, that's a layer. Yeah. 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 As a layer or not. All right, Miss Idaho <laughs> USA. I guess what are we? What in, what does the title mean? More than just a title, right? Oh, this, oh, yeah. This is something, I mean, it's a once in a lifetime experience. I just got back from competing at Miss USA in May. Um, that was in Reno, Tahoe. It was uh, Chesley, North Carolina won. Um, she is doing an amazing job and just was actually at like Extra TV, the BMAs, like did so many amazing things. Um, and they really give you an opportunity to not only just serve your community, but give you opportunities to come, I mean, do things like this that you would never get the chance to do. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand with Miss Idaho, you also normally have a platform, right, helping out in your community. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so this year I really championed for um, being authentically yourself. I think um, nowadays we are told kind of to fit into this box, especially in people's minds, the ideas of pageants in general is a really small box. Um, I used to weigh over 200 pounds and not necessarily my weight was the issue. It was that I was unhealthy, I didn't love myself, and I wasn't taking care of myself. So I did, you know, went through a huge change, changed my life, got better habits and a healthier lifestyle. And now I am still not necessarily a size zero, but I'm championing that all shapes and sizes are welcome in pageants and are beautiful. I think that's a message that everyone needs to hear yes. time and time again. So yep. good, you picked a good one to kind of champion. And it's not get, about you know losing weight. It's getting to a place that you're healthy and comfortable and happy. happy it's not a size. It's not a number. It's what's good for you. Exactly. This, this is a very happy event. It's a great yeah. time for the city of Boise, the state of Idaho. Are you going? Are you going to go up in the hot yeah. air balloon? Do you know yet? Oh uh, no, I'm, okay. I'm not going to go up. Um, but I am going to watch. I think actually, honestly, that's my favorite part. Is yeah. I've never been down here the actual right. event right, when it's right. going on. I'm always just like going to work or driving somewhere and I'm like, oh, they look, you know, so pretty. So it's gonna be so cool to see them like take off and be here when, you know, instead of just seeing them in the distance. 
so oh, that you absolutely. can really sit down and enjoy yeah. them. Yes. Okay. Well, Keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. this morning. I know you probably have a lot of different stops to make today. And we yeah. Know this is just yeah. I appreciate yeah. you coming to hang out. My first one. I appreciate you guys for having me. Of Thank course. you so well, much. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And yeah, best of luck the rest of the year with everything that you will be doing out and yeah. about in the community. If you guys want to so. come watch October 27th, I'm done. Okay. We're, we're passing on the crown. Oh, wow. Good. Okay. Thanks, right. guys. Appreciate Thank it you. very much. All right. We know that this is a one on once in a lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. CBS 2's Chris McPeak talked to families about why getting up this early is worth it. This is Berkeley. He's headed up to his first hot air balloon ride with his brother and sister. All right, here we go, guys. It's a family event for them and many others. Marlita drove from McCall with her two grandsons. I just think it's a great family event. Um, and you can kind of make a field trip out of it. Her grandsons have never been to the Spirit of Boise. They too are also hopping on their first hot air balloon. What do you think it might feel like? Um, floating. And these Boise siblings just got done. It's real good. But that was scary when I went down. When I looked down, it's like we're over it pretty high. Brothers Christian, Brendan, and Everett look down it. waving at their mom. Bye. And for kids like Berkeley. Growing up on a balloon? Okay. They're feeling the spirit. Yeah, it was fun. I really liked it. Of Boise. So here's this. Sorry, bug. We, 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 bug. No, you're so full of it. Uh, we're in a graphic anyway. Uh, oh, here's this, uh, here's this week's schedule of events. This this is media day. We had Kiki stop by. We had Kat stop by. We had Miss Idaho USA stop by. You can come on by and meet all of them and uh, also see some hot air balloons too, which are the real celebrities. Tomorrow is VIP launch day. Get your cameras ready because there is no better way to kick off the holiday weekend than by watching countless hot air balloons take to the sky. Okay, and maybe you're not a morning person. We actually, I've seen a lot of our coworkers uh, showing up to work a little yeah. earlier than here we normally for the food. do. Oh, there's a, a breakfast we, here. Yeah, we know they're here for the food, but they're up early. If you're someone who says this is not for me, uh, you want to set the alarm much, much later today or today or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night is the Night Glow. This is an amazing event, really something you don't get to experience. It goes from about 6 until 10. Grab the lawn chairs, the blankets, your friends and family, and come on out to uh, see the balloons lit up in the night sky. All right, I think they're coming back on to us here. I, I thought we were Go on ahead. camera earlier. Sure I was a bug. That's, yep. That, that I, and happened. I was saying there was a bug. So that if, you, if you were confused on what was happening earlier. There you go. Now I just we had to clarify. It. Oh, I just ruined it. All right. Well, we'll stay with us all day. Of course, we're going to be providing live coverage for you on IdahoNews.com, CBS2, uh, the, all of our Facebook page, all of our apps. You know where to find us. We'll be there. For now, though, we'll send it back to Sophia in the studio. Thanks, you guys. Well, a 19-year-old student is behind bars after police say he told them he was actually plotting a shooting at his North Carolina college. So the student from Massachusetts is facing charges of possessing weapons on campus and communicating a threat of mass violence. So police say he planned on, quote, shooting up High Point University. This all unfolded when the university told police that security officers knew of a student who had two guns and ammunition in his dorm room said that if his roommate got into a fraternity and he didn't, he had a plan to kill his roommate and himself. Well, a fellow student tipped off investigators that Seber was hoarding guns and ammo in his room. Authorities say he'd purchased the weapons within the last week, but it is unclear whether or not he bought those legally. Well, Idaho's governor says he's still fighting the fight when it comes to the state having to pay for inmates gender reassignment surgery. So a federal judge ruled the state must provide and must pay for the IDOC's inmate gender reassignment surgery. So Adri Edmo's attorney says his client's being held in a men's prison and that's putting her in danger. Governor Little was on Fox News addressing this case. He says, quote, the hardworking taxpayers of Idaho should not be forced to pay for a convicted sex offender's gender reassignment surgery. And he said, quote, the procedure is contrary to the medical opinions of the treating physician and multiple mental health professionals. The state has spent more than $300,000 to appeal the federal court's decision. CBS2 has learned from IDOC that five inmates have requested for gender reassignment surgery just this year. Well, a Boise man is accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl yesterday that was inside his vehicle. So Idaho police says that 
Tissar Boyd gave that teen, who he actually did know, a ride to a local business, then stole food and alcohol and drove her to a park where he assaulted her. She eventually did get out of that car and called for help. He's facing felony charges of sexual battery of a minor, second degree kidnapping and burglary. Well, now it's time for our question of the day. So the question is, they debuted in 1976 and the last ones were made in 2005, but you may still have several of these in your home. What are they? This is a kind of a hard question. So Carl says cordless landline phones. I like that a lot. I definitely haven't seen that in a while, but David, quarters, okay. Quarters. I don't know. I feel like I have a quarter or two. Okay, Darren, floppy disks. Yes, I have not seen those in a while, but they're probably in some drawer somewhere in my house. I definitely agree with that one. Well, whatever you think it is, we would love to hear your guesses. We'll share them here on the show. Just submit them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter, and we'll read them out loud, and we'll reveal the actual answer at the end of the show right before CBS This Morning. It was yesterday at this time, Todd Christensen from Cap at Credit Union joined us, and I got a face tattoo. I'm so uh, He's coming curious. back in this minute. What's going to happen I think next? he's cooking up something. I'm a little worried. <laughs>Action drone is ready and so are we. CBS 2 is live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic here at Ann Morrison Park, presented by Cap Ed Credit Union. CBS 2 and Town Square Media, our STEM action drone captured these awesome images from yesterday's Cap Ed Kids Day. Okay, it is, I mean, we're, it's, it's crunch time, people. The, we're mm -hmm. starting to see first light. Hopefully we can show you that shot of the sunrise. Some cloud cover, though, this morning, making it look a little bit different than yesterday. Definitely, but yes. that, this is one of the perks of waking up early, if this is not yeah, part of your I, normal I, routine. I don't know if our mics are picking it up. Uh, you know, 103.5 KISS FM is here, and they're playing some, like, light, oh, like, Yanni-esque music. It is amazing, And it just Yanni -esque. goes perfectly <laughs> with, with what the sunrise looks it like. It is just, like, lightly as the sunrise, like, crescendoing it Like, up. this yeah. job is so high stress. Working with Danny is so high stress, but I think <laughs> yeah. my I think my blood yeah. pressure is lowering <laughs> thanks to this shot and this music. Uh, it is beautiful. We are seeing a little bit of cloud cover out there, and that is expected to continue until at least noon today. Mm -hmm. That's because of some low pressure we have pushing into Oregon. As far as any precipitation, though, the Treasure Valley looking to stay dry. Best chance will be isolated showers possibly for the Long Valley as well as possibly northeastern Oregon up in that Baker County, Malheur mm -hmm. County area. But also, as we are heading into um, the morning, sunrise is here right now outside about 71 degrees, um, six, winds about six miles out of the east part and we need a little bit more coffee but keep in mind it will get pretty hot today we are looking at highs of about 94 degrees 97 if you're going to be up in Ontario or down in Mountain Home so it is going to be a toasty one but overall a little bit of a warmer day on our hands it's expected to be very nice right now again winds about six miles an hour so feeling very pleasant out here in and Morrison Park. But what you can expect heading forward, a mix of sun and clouds for the start to your Thursday, though we will be clearing out by about the noon hour. So good news there, but it is going to be hot for the rest of the week. There is a chance of those few mountain showers we talked about, but overall it is going to be a nice sunny Labor Day weekend. It is going to be a hot one though. We are well above average. So let's take a quick look at our jet stream forecast as well, because we are looking again at seeing daytime highs about 94 degrees. As far as any cloud cover, that's going to push out around the two o'clock hour. High pressure building in from the southeast, but it's this low pressure that is pushed into Oregon that has cooled us down just a little bit. It will cool us down for Friday. We are going to be well above, still well above average, but again, Labor Day weekend is when we'll start to really feel Mother Nature cranking up that heat. So seven day forecast for you really quickly. We are looking at highs tomorrow of about 91 degrees, so just a little bit cooler than today, but Mother Nature will crank up that heat on Saturday and Sunday, mid 90s, but beautiful sunny skies if you are heading out. Overall, though, we are going to start cooling down um, long range the next seven to 10 days. We will start cooling back down to the mid 80s. So overall, these hot temperatures, there is some relief on the horizon. But overall, if you're heading to the mountains for the weekend for your Labor Day weekend, Friday, we're looking at a high of 81 but by Saturday and Sunday, mid 80. So definitely sunny and a pleasant, pleasant Labor Day weekend on our hands. But here at Spirit of Boise Bloom Classic, a very beautiful sunrise on our hands. Another gorgeous day. Just a little bit more cloud cover is what we're looking at. All right, yeah. we can deal. So they just had that pilot's briefing. Hopefully we should know uh, and, we, and we might figure out the answer. Todd Christensen joining us now yeah, from Cap and Credit Union. Yeah. What, what are you hiding? I was going to say, I'm just going to share. Just to share, I have nothing this morning. No Aww. fear. I'm not going not, not to invade your personal space.
space here. You realize that's yes. a huge letdown. <laughs> yeah. huge, well, we're ready. to be able to get that tattoo uh, again uh, for you. You're running over a little here later. I thought like some like you know some like clown was going to be behind you or a dunk tank or something. I got very worried mm. for a second. So we're I'm now contemplating what we can uh, achieve here. This I will be quiet. Yeah, my, <laughs> my biggest flaw right is being quiet. Minutes, you might be able to make something yeah. happen. Uh, the pi uh, pilot briefing going on. What, Just came from the pilot yeah, briefing. They're talking about uh, this morning. We should have somewhere between 36 and 37 hot air balloons wow. that will be launching. Uh, individuals from far away as France that have joined us here in the Treasure Valley. And so we have a great opportunity. Folks that are out there looking over the skies of Boise this morning should see Yoda. Okay. And we also have some other special shapes that are going to be here off the field this morning. So a great opportunity at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Class. All right. Yesterday we were told about one, uh, you know, the king. The king? The king here. Uh, the, the king has king, arrived. Right, we're talking he may about not the be on the field today, the today but okay. definitely tomorrow and okay. for certain on uh, Saturday and All right, Sunday. But Yoda will, will be Yoda flying is right. flying today. May the Force He's be one of my favorites, too, by the way, absolutely. so I'm excited to see Yoda. <laughs> okay. Todd, we, we discussed it yesterday for people to join us, maybe getting ready to, to come in. Yesterday was Kids' Day, but the family's invited to back down again today. The families, all individuals who want to come down to the field, the only thing that we ask is please don't bring dogs. Okay. Uh, the pitch from the sound from the burners of the hot air balloon uh, put off a pitch that is not friendly to dogs. Yeah. Um, so we just want to make sure, sure that people are aware of that. The families come on down, uh, just don't step on the balloons. You're able to come around and surround the balloons, see them inflated this morning. They should be uh, starting to inflate here in the next 15, 20 minutes. Great. Okay, well, and with the balloons, speaking of the, of the shape of these things, I mean, we were noticing yesterday, most all of these look the same. The cap and credit or balloon is a little bit different, and you were explaining why. It's really interesting. The, the balloon that we have is a, referred to as a racer, mm -hmm. so it can go higher and faster and come down faster. Okay. And it's also smaller so that we can go into uh, schools and so that we can go into uh, smaller spaces. And you were talking about cap ed. This is a... This school is not just out once a year for this and that. Exactly. You, you take it around the valley. We take it out throughout the valley. We have a reading program that's called Read to Rise, and that runs for the months of December through April. And then schools that have the most read minutes, we actually go out and have a visit. I should say the five schools with the most read minutes, we take out to the elementary schools here across Southern Idaho to encourage literacy within our young population. Oh, awesome. Todd, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Absolutely. all you and Cap and Credit Union have been doing to, to make this event possible. So uh, we'll send it back to Sylvia in the studio, but so glad to have you out here again, and we can't wait to see what you have, have we'll see Brian. What we have yeah, we'll see. Are you, are you with us tomorrow? Uh, we should be here tomorrow. I'll be here all week, so. <laughs> all right. He's nervous. I'm a little nervous. He's a little nervous. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, so much fun over there. Well, let's take a look at traffic. If maybe you're headed to Spirit of Boise, it doesn't look like you have too much to worry about. Uh, almost seven, so more cars on the road, sun's coming up, but it doesn't look like there's any slowdowns that uh, could keep you from getting there to the Balloon Classic, so no excuses. We'd love to see you. Your next update on weather and traffic is always less than 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning. Well, a new report from AAA shows the number of deaths from red light running crashes. It's actually on the rise. So research shows that more drivers are running red lights at high rates of speed. That's leading to devastating results. So the number of red light deaths increased to almost 28% just from five years ago. Drivers are distracted, they're impatient, and they're reckless. And they're making the decision to run a red light instead of safely stopping. Really scary. Well, research shows more than two people are killed every single day in red light running crashes. Not only drivers, but passengers and pedestrians as well. AAA wants to see more cameras put in that photograph and send a, pic a ticket to drivers who run any red lights. And remember, always, 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 please, please, please practice safe driving. We'll be right back after the break. News, the 2020 presidential campaign, it's ramping up and many of the Democratic candidates like to highlight how different they are from the current president. But there are some 2020 presidential candidates that are pulling a page from the Trump playbook. Sinclair National Correspondent Christine Brissau has more. We fought with the workers on Amazon to get them 15 bucks an hour. One of the top presidential contenders has made his feelings clear about certain aspects of what he calls the corporate media. Any wonder why the Washington Post is not one of my great supporters. I wonder why. New York Times, not much better. Even tweeting, 
We will have to take on virtually the entire media establishment in this campaign and writing an op-ed on the need for real journalism. Fire away. Okay. After a series of campaign trail gaffes. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. The Biden campaign criticizes the media for covering those gaffes and not focusing on issues they believe voters actually care about. They are. Other candidates have also criticized the press, and it turns out they're not alone. It's obvious that everybody running for president is going to complain about the media at some point. It's what presidential candidates have done from Thomas Jefferson forward. Bunch of phony lowlifes. They're disgraceful. That's certainly been the case with the current president, who time and time again has said this. The news about me is largely phony. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. Peter Loge, director of the Project on Ethics and Political Communication at George Washington University, says there are major differences in Bernie Sanders' criticisms and President Trump's. My understanding of Senator Sanders is he's arguing for more free press, not less. There's a huge difference between demanding the press do better and calling a cornerstone of our democracy somehow an opponent or an enemy of that democracy. When it comes to Americans, the voters themselves, a recent Pew poll found 64% believe the national news media has a negative effect on the way things are going in this country. Just 25% believe it has a positive effect. On Capitol Hill, I'm Christine Frizzau. Okay, we'll get to your question of the day. They debuted in 1976. Last ones were made in 2005. You may still have several of these in your home. The answer, VHS cassettes. I know I have a few laying around. Our next newscast is coming up in just a few minutes on the CW. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. So excited to be back out here again at Ann Morrison Park. There are tons of people around now. It's crunch time. The balloons are getting ready. They'll be inflated here shortly. And uh, about 37 to 40 of them are going to be up in the air here shortly. So really excited. CBS2, though, of course, is partnering with CapEd Credit Union and Town Square Media to put on this awesome event. Uh, our crews are ready. We're set up, ready to go, and hoping to see some of these uh, balloons launch here shortly. So Yeah, we'll see. we'll see. We're trying to track down Kiki Love. We had him on earlier. Yeah. They're kind 
kind of uh, for all the listeners that check in with 103.5 Kiss FM, uh, a little social experiment is going on today. He might be taking part in it right now. This is really uh, funny. Well, yeah. we, you can probably tell us about it. Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want to give right. away any details. So I tell you what, we'll see if we can come back to Kiki. Uh, I guess what's next after that? We oh, we can talk more about just what else is happening this morning. Or you know, sure. how about the weather though? Because first, it, first and foremost. All of this depends on what the weather is doing. And the pilots mm-hmm. just walked out of their briefing about 10 minutes ago. A lot of them had smiles on their faces, so I assume that means we're good to go. They're in good hands with Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham. Yes, he is the chief forecaster, mm-hmm. weather forecaster for all of the balloonists out here at Spirit of Boise Balloon uh, Classic. I wish we could get a shot of yeah. him because we don't. I never see this. Oh, he's yeah, in, look he's at that. He's in a bright neon jacket oh. that says, yep, he is pilot, do not distract. Yeah, yeah do that, don't. That's all we know what to do is distract you at home and, and, and coworkers. He takes but, this so seriously, too, and we'll talk about the forecast here in a second, but I have to share this story from yesterday. So we were, we were sitting here, and obviously if you want to fly a drone, you have to get clearance from the FAA. Well, yeah. there were some representatives from the FAA here yesterday, and they came up and said, you know, hey, is this your drone in the air? And we said yes. Well, they went up to Roland and asked him, they said, sir, is this your drone? And uh, as a drone pilot, you can't, you cannot take your eyes off the no drone communication or off that all. screen. So he sat there and said, sir, I'm, fl- I'm piloting a drone. I will get back to you when I can, like, when I when I have landed the drone safely. And that was, like, part of a test. So yeah, really exciting. He did. Yeah, no, he definitely did really well and also the drone footage we're getting Mm -hmm. from this event it is amazing so definitely stay tuned throughout the day we'll have more of that coming your way but um overall I yeah, mean, give us a quick check on what we're expecting. It's yeah, out here right it now. is. It's beautiful. The sunrise. It is here. If you're heading still, waiting to head down to Ann Morrison Park, you if definitely you want to get here because the balloons are already starting to be laid out. But temperature-wise, it's pretty nice out here. All you're going to need really is a light jacket if you are heading. Oh, out. you can talk. But I don't think we're on graphics. Overall, we're looking so at about. Just, we're, we're, we keep motioning over here. So we're looking for Kiki. Yeah, hot yeah, graphics. Oh, we found Cat. Sorry. We found all right. Her. All right. But also back to Spirit of Boise Classic. So we're looking at about so 65 degrees by about. 8 o'clock, warming up to 70, 74 by about 10 o'clock, so warming up pretty quickly. We are still going to see some cloud cover pushing through. This is courtesy of low pressure pushing into the Oregon area. There is a chance of seeing some isolated showers for our friends in the central Idaho mountains as well as west central mountains, but overall, let's take a quick look at our satellite and radar, and that moisture right there is that low pressure pushing into the area. Most of that precipitation, though, is happening on the eastern Oregon side of our region. Overall, there is a chance, again, of seeing isolated showers up in the Long Valley, but here in the Treasure Valley, at least for the spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, perfect conditions. Just a little bit of cloud cover, but not too bad, not going to affect our balloonists in any way. And very pleasant for us here down on the ground as well. Looking at your future cast though, this cloud cover will be moving out by about two o'clock. We'll start to see it shift to the northeast. Beautiful sunny skies, and we are going to heat up quick. Daytime highs about 94 degrees. Not as hot as yesterday, but still, you want to make sure that you are hydrating accordingly if you're going to be out running around having some fun. All right, that sounds like great fun, great news. You probably don't need these coats. Yeah. We're joined by Cat Fisher from 103.5 KISS FM. Uh, Kiki was filling us in on, on something we didn't know was happening. We, <laughs> we had no about idea. We didn't know what was happening. So what's, what's exactly happening? Where are we at in this process? I'm currently on a blind date, but he told you guys a little bit about a Last week, I got a Snapchat from somebody who I'd never talked to before, and he said, I'm the future you, coming back in time to tell you don't mess with Kyle. Kyle is the exact moment your life goes wrong. And I'm thinking, that's what pretty a weird. weird message. But kind of claimers it's a bold Kyle. statement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just the one. Yeah. I get a lot of weird messages, so I just kind of stuck it in my back pocket, didn't mm-hmm. think too much about it. Twelve hours later, the next morning, I get a message from a listener on Instagram saying, I've been thinking about it. I really think you should go out with my brother. And she talks him up. She hyped him up. He's this, he's that, he's this great person. Dot dot dot. His name is Kyle. <laughs> And it was just too big of a coincidence. I don't think I know any Kyles. And so to hear (laughs) these two things on separate platforms, two different days, it was so weird. So, of course, I have to do the most dangerous thing and go up in a hot air balloon with him. (laughs) You have met him. Have you met him? I've met him. Yeah, he's here. And he's awesome. He's really nice. Okay. Yeah, so we're about to go. I heard he brought coffee, too. So that's at least nice as well. And I have a really (laughs) agitating order. So I'm shocked that he even came after he found out my order. I thought this guy was hard to work with. It sounds like Kiki might be be pushing him for his money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, can you tell us tomorrow that we'll, we'll be able to hear yeah. more about how Oh, I'm went? sure we'll be recapping it. Yeah, but you know with hot air balloons, this is my first time going up, yeah. but you don't know how long it's going to be, right? Oh. So it's a, it's a first date, it's a blind date, and I don't know how long we're going to be up in this <laughs> balloon. The duration's already, a big question mark. We saw the basket, and it's small, so yeah. we're going to be in close quarters. <laughs> There's no way out. <laughs> 
Good luck, and we'll Thank end you. on that. Yeah. You know, well, you got, you're going to get your experience. A lot of kids yesterday got their first experiences in a hot air balloon. CBS 2's Kristen McPeak gives us a look at what, what made them want to set the alarm. Oh, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> we're going to talk first about a rundown of the events coming sure. our way, because oh, yeah. that's important to do, too. Yes, it is. We'll let you go. I think you have someone that's waiting yes. for you. Yes, yes. Thank, awesome. you. thank you. Good luck. We want updates. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, let's go over the schedule of events. Today is Meaty Day. We have uh, Kat here. We have Kiki here. We have uh, Miss Idaho oh, USA here. A lot of people coming out. You can say hi to all of them, any of them. Uh, and also you get to see about more than 35, uh, close to 40 hot air balloons take off. Tomorrow is VIP launch day. Get your cameras ready because there is no better way to kick off the holiday weekend than by watching countless hot air balloons take to the sky. Okay, and then tomorrow night, if you haven't seen this video, we're showing you again because it's worth seeing time and time again. This is the night glow. Uh, it happens Friday night from 6 to 10 here at Ann Morrison. It's just a, one of those glow events that you don't get to see uh, many other places. So that's also a really fun event before the launch is coming this weekend. Of course, all of this is weather dependent and uh, we're just excited yeah. to see what comes from here. Yeah, all right, keep it here all morning long. They're getting ready to inflate the hot air balloons with a beautiful sunrise over the uh, Treasure Valley foothills. For now, let's send it back to Sophia Dumani in the studio. Thanks, you guys. Well, firefighters in Bolivia are battling through hot weather to fight a forest fire over there. The country struggling to contain raging wildfires that's near Bolivia's border with Paraguay and Brazil. So in this dry part of the country, firefighters smothered flames using just machetes, shovels and dry earth. Officials said at least 3,800 square miles have been impacted by those fires. Well, developing news on the tropical storm as Puerto Rico just avoids the full wrath of Hurricane Dorian. The U.S. Virgin Islands took a more direct hit that had power outages and flooding, but not much more than that. Meanwhile, in Florida, they are in a state of emergency as they prepare for the storm to make a possible Labor Day landfall. Officials are advising residents to be prepared. Even though if a small one or pretend it's not coming, you pretend it's coming. Well, Dorian pounded the U.S. Virgin Islands as a Category 1 hurricane, and it's now forecasted to reach Florida this weekend. Homeowners are preparing. They're filling up sandbags and installing hurricane-resistant windows and doors, as you see here. Dorian may also move north into other states like South Carolina and even Georgia. Well, Idaho's governor says he's still fighting the fight when it comes to having the state pay for inmates gender reassignment surgery. So a federal judge ruled that the state must provide and must pay for an IDOC inmates gender reassignment surgery. Adri Edmo's attorney says his client is being held in a men's prison, putting her in danger. Governor Little was on Fox News addressing this case publicly. He says, quote, the hardworking taxpayers of Idaho should not be forced to pay for a convicted sex offender's gender reassignment and says, quote, the procedure is contrary to the medical opinions of the treating physician and multiple mental health professionals. Well, the state has spent more than $300,000 to appeal the federal court's decision. CBS2 learned from IDOC that five inmates have requested gender reassignment surgery just this year. Well, a Melba man will spend the rest of his life in prison after being found guilty of killing a hitchhiker in 2017. Nicholas Vanderberg pleaded guilty to criminal conspiracy and first degree murder. Montana Reed of Twin Falls and Willie Ravy of Mountain Home are also charged with conspiracy to commit first degree murder. Authorities found Hunter Smith's body in October two years ago. He had been shot. A Boise man is accused of sexually assaulting a 17 year old girl inside a vehicle. Police say Tassar Boyd gave the teen who he knew a ride to a local business, stole food and alcohol, and then drove her to a park. That's where he assaulted her. She eventually got out of that car and was able to call for help. Now he's facing felony charges of sexual battery of a minor, second degree kidnapping, as well as burglary. All right, we're back out here live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Super excited. Uh, definitely people are starting to kind of, you know, gather up and they're, oh yeah, they're congregating. They're waiting to see when these balloons are going to launch. <laughs> so inflate, they should start inflating them shortly. A lot of this, though, uh, depending on that pilot's briefing, which happened, it looks like we're good to go. Yeah. Everything seems everything, like we're going to have smooth sailing. Everything's great, um, at least from, you know, in the upper atmosphere. We're looking at not seeing anything over about 10 miles an hour. So some great, you know, some great ballooning, Perfect. I believe is the term. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. So Brian and I are going to go. We're going to get our balloon. We're going to leave you here with the rest of the show. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good luck. No, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. But My I, heart just starts. You know what? Something tells me, though, that we saw Roland getting ready. Check out the CBS2 Facebook page yes, and, yeah. uh, you know, in a little bit when these hot air balloons get going. And you're going to see, I mean, it's cool to see hot air balloon. You're going to see what it looks like above the hot air balloon. It's worth checking out. Yeah.
All right, Sarah, why don't, you, why don't you get to weather? Oh yeah, let's talk I'm a little bit about weather too. No, I love it. <laughs> Go ahead, drink your coffee. We got this. So we are obviously here at Ann Morrison, feeling pretty nice out. I mean, a light jacket if you want it, but it's starting to warm up as the sun is rising. Oh, Keep in mind though, this cloud cover we're seeing is going to continue until about the two o'clock hour by noon, about 82 degrees, three o'clock, 90, six o'clock, 91 sunny skies. Keep in mind though, we could hit that high of 94 degrees today. Not as hot as yesterday, but still it's going to be pretty toasty out there as long, uh, but as far as the spirit of um, Boise Classic, we're looking at seeing some pretty nice conditions out here. As you can see, the sunrise is gorgeous. We are ready to go. So a pretty nice day overall expecting, you know, just a light jacket's all you need, but sunrise is here. So it's going to get hot quick. Hydrate accordingly. As I always say. Back there in the sky. Yes, we are. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Let's send it back to Sophia in the studio. If you're headed out to Spirit of Boise, let's take a look at traffic that you might be dealing with. Uh, luckily, it doesn't look like you'll have any. Uh, almost 7.15 this morning. More people obviously headed out to work on their morning commute. You can see the sun is coming up. A lot more cars on the road, but it doesn't look like you'll have any slowdowns that you'll have to be dealing with. Um, right there, actually. Just kidding. It does look like you might have some traffic. We'll uh, keep an eye on that for you and keep you updated. Your next update on weather and traffic always less than 10 minutes away on CBS2 News this morning. All right, well, uh, I don't know if you can tell with these lights, there's a lot of bugs around. So we'll give the <laughs> yeah. forecast for both our uh, animal friends and human friends yeah. coming up here in just a couple minutes. Well, it's time for our question of the day. This is a fun one. First, yesterday's question, there are about 330 of these in America, down from about 4,000 in the 60s. What are they? The answer, drive-in theaters. I wish there were more. Those are fun. So today's question, they debuted in 1976, and the last ones were made in 2005. But you may still have several of these in your home. What is it? We'd love to hear your guesses after the break. CBS2, the official TV sponsor of the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. CBS2 is live at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic here at Ann Morrison Park. This event is presented by CapEd Credit Union, CBS2, and Town Square Media. Uh, pretty shortly on our Facebook page, we'll have that STEM Action drone going, oh, yeah. getting some terrific shots. The STEM Action drone did capture some fantastic images yesterday from CapEd Kids Day. Yeah, you got to check it out if you weren't able to get down here for CapEd Kids Day. I, I, so many fun activities. Uh, obviously, you know, the kids were looking forward to yesterday, but we, we know that there's so much more to this than just that. And today we're going to have 37 balloons in the sky. Yep. Uh, this is some of that drum video from yesterday, but uh, Gorgeous. we were talking about some of the balloons and, and our, uh, we, got, we have our favorites. Come on, we all have our favorites. What are you looking forward to oh, seeing? Yeah. Well, we had talked about it a little bit with Todd, but honestly, Yoda's always been my favorite. Yeah. He's just a very different balloon in lots of ways. And like being, not, what's the word, not blowing up, Inflating. inflating. Yes. Thank you. I just want to make sure I'm being correct here. Inflating. I mean, I can't even imagine trying to maneuver that guy around with his little ears, too, with the winds. <laughs> so I think I'm more fascinated from it from like a flight standpoint, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, you all these weather people, they use the word atmosphere a lot. I don't know if I've used that word in like Ever. years. So you guys talk Ryan's about it. Roland it. talks about it. I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Is there a that, test on this? Well, I hope not. <laughs> so, uh, but hey, it's uh, the story I always talk about is, um, you know, my wife was out here uh, years ago for an interview. They put her up in a hotel downtown. I'm not out here with her. She sends me a picture uh, early in the morning, and, and it's always hot air balloons. And she says, is this every day? Is this every day in Boise? Is this how people get to work? No, she was just out here pretty much at this time uh, when the spirit of Boise yeah. was going on. So well, it always said, means yeah. something else. That's, That's really magical. Cool. Yeah. When you said you moved here two years ago, right around the time of the Spirit of Boise, so it's like two years ago, yep. Yeah. Which is crazy, by the way. You know, but if by chance it is kind of your introduction to the valley, like what it better is. way right. to really understand what the spirit of this city is all about? I mean, it is with our community together. I remember, you know, we got our coffees. We, I, I live very close near the depot bench, and we just all of us, our whole community was on the hill, just sitting there watching. Oh, yeah. And I met so many people, and it just, I mean, it's this is part of the magical part of Boise yeah. and bringing our community together. I mean, it's a really amazing event. Yeah, it really is. And now, I mean, it's, it's, it's such an honor for us to all be a part of it. Uh, you know, but the forecasting element becomes yeah. really important. I remember so many years, you know, you're up there shivering with the hot chocolate, watching the balloons. But when, if and when the weather ever does get in the way, it's always it's always unfortunate. But so far this year, we have been very lucky. I, yes, we have been very lucky. Um, today, expected to be very um, similar to yesterday. Again, a little bit warmer as we are a little bit sweating yeah, out here. Like we kind of brought a little more of a, a heavy jacket. You might want to bring a little bit of a lighter jacket if you are coming out. That sunrise is going to heat us up very quickly. But 
The one thing we do have today that we didn't yesterday is a little bit of cloud cover pushing through. That overall is what's going to cool our daytime high. Keep in mind, though, that we will be warming up very quickly. Right now in downtown Boise, we're looking at about um, 71 degrees. Winds 9 miles an hour. That's about as high as we're supposed to get with our winds aloft. So some good news for our balloonists here at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Highs for Boise, 94 possible for today. 97 in Ontario and Mountain Home, hottest areas in the region. Keep that in mind. 84 in McCall, expected to be a pretty pleasant day. They do, however, have a chance of seeing some isolated showers pass through later today. So what you can expect, sun and clouds, they are going to continue until about the 2 o'clock hour. That's when the threat of seeing any isolated storms moves to the northeast of us, and we're seeing beautiful sunny skies. We are going to heat up very quickly, though, and we're going to stay hot for the rest of the week. Again, those few mountain showers may pass through. Again, best chance Long Valley and Mountain Home area. So if you're living in that area, that cloud cover could turn to a little bit of a rain spout. But a nice sunny Labor Day weekend is on the horizon, though it is going to be pretty hot out there. Um, if you are going to be up in the mountains, though, it's going to be mid 80s. So a pretty pleasant weekend on our hands. But here back at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, gorgeous conditions. Just make sure you get down here. I mean, look, look at that. It's beautiful. That cloud cover even looking just nice. Just wait until those balloons start making their way up into the sky. Oh, it's going to be a sight. Yeah, I, I, I saw, I mean, there's every weekend in the summer and pretty much into the fall once, you know, football gets going, there's always some big special event yes. that's dependent on the outdoors and always, you know, maybe there's some heat involved, but it's always just perfect weather. And we have that again today for us. Another one of those reasons we just love the Treasure Valley. So yeah. Yeah. looking forward to all that's still to come today. Yep. All right. Let's send it back to Sophia in the studio. Thanks, guys. Well, if you're headed out, maybe to Spirit of Boise to check it out. Let's take a look at your traffic route, uh, 715 or 720 right now. Uh, looking like there is a slowdown on I-84 and Linder right here. It looks good. Um, more people expected, you know, headed to work right now, so traffic is to be expected. There's that slowdown. So if that is your route to work, I-84 and Linder, um, just keep that in mind. Maybe leave a couple minutes early. So it looks like it's moving along, but it just looks like a little slow. Uh, your next update on weather and traffic is always 10 minutes away on CBS 2 News this morning. We'll move to rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft. They're considering an hour minimum wage for drivers along with other employee protections. So the companies say they're not willing to compromise with a proposal that includes a minimum wage of $21 per hour. So this change comes on the heels of a driver led protest that crossed California. They have to look at the product that's given by the individual drivers and reward the individual drivers that provide a five star service with a five star paycheck. Rideshare protesters are demanding a living wage and pushing for Assembly Bill 5, which would make drivers employees instead of independent contractors. Both Lyft and Uber have promised drivers at least $21 an hour and some additional benefit in response to those protesters. Well, now to the number of the day. It takes a close look at one of the biggest issues heading into the 2020 election. So 31% of adults nationwide say they believe the U.S. economy is getting better. But a weekly survey by both Job Creators Networks and ScottRasmussen.com, they revealed more people actually feel like it's getting worse. So 34% believe that, making this the second week in a row where the pessimists have actually outnumbered the optimists. It's also the first time since this has happened since the government shutdown that ended in January. Well, Coming up on CBS 2 News this morning, as some try to address global issues, making an impact on people is key. We'll show you one social experiment, though, that gets a different response. And later, science making new developments, a look at the strides they're taking to help battle the fight against extinction. CBS 2 and the Dapper Donut want to give you and your coworkers free coffee and donuts. Who doesn't want that? So enter your business through the contest section on IdahoNews.com. Really easy. Just click on Mugshot Monday and we'll head that out for you. New news this morning. New sculptures outside Laguna Beach City Hall are turning heads and disturbing some people. Um, the sculptures depict a man wearing a hoodie with his face blocked from the sun while playing a lawn game or an outdoor activity. So the message is that it's a social commentary on global warming. So installation got mixed reviews from residents. Not everyone happy with that. 
Well, a 16-year-old climate activist from Sweden has completed her 15-day trip across the Atlantic to attend a global warming conference. So Greta Thunberg arrived in New York with a four-man crew. That includes her father. They traveled on a zero-emission sailboat equipped with solar panels and hydro generators. It's pretty cool. Well, scientists and veterinarians are gathering in Kenya to save the northern white rhino species from extinction. The team used a new procedure that's for the first time and successfully gathered five eggs from each two of the two female rhinos. So they're now working on a new task right now that's embryo transfers. There is still hope for the northern white rhino, but the fight of extinction is far from over. Well, now let's move it to the question of the day. These are always so fun. So they debuted in 1976. The last ones were made in 2005, but you may still have several of these in your home. What is it? We got a lot of great guesses. Some people were talking about uh, quarters. Some people were talking about, you know, jute boxes. I, I, I really like this answer though, VHS cassettes. I definitely have some of those still in my house from when I was a little girl, but we also have, um, Let's see, we also had some really great guesses. We love to hear from you. Go on our Facebook page or Twitter. We post these online and then you can post your guesses. We'll read them for you um, here on the morning show out loud and you have your name attached to it. It's really cool and it's a really fun thing that we do here. Be sure to stay with us. We have more shows coming for you, 10 o'clock. We have CBS, then we have our, um, Oh, seven day forecast there. Take a look at that. Really great weather coming for you, especially during the spirit of Boise. So we hope to see you out there. We have really great coverage of that all morning. We have more coverage coming for you at our 11 o'clock show on channel two. So stay with us for that. Uh, we hope to see you there. This, this Spirit of Boise event that we have going on is really, really, really cool. We really hope to see you. Denny and Brian and Sarah are out live there. They'll be out live for the 11 o'clock show. So be sure to come with us. We have we had Capid's Kids Day yesterday. We have really cool drone footage of that that we'd love to show you. We have it on our website, IdahoNews.com. Our Facebook page has a lot of that going on too. So be sure to stay with us on Channel 2, on our website, our Facebook page, our Twitter. We have it all for you. Spirit of Boise is a really cool cool event. And remember, Friday is the night glow. I went last year, one of the coolest things I think that the city really has to offer. I loved it. If you're not a morning person, you don't want to get up between 645 and 845, which is when the morning launches are. Come to the night glow. It's really cool. It's great for the kids. And again, we'd love to see you there. We're a proud sponsor of this event. We'll see you later. Take the news with you on the radio, 670 KBOI. And for news and information 24 hours a day, click on IdahoNews.com.